Good morning, campers. Welcome back to the Cut the Camera podcast. It's one of your hosts, Nick Sterniolo, Matt, Chris, and we're here with the multi-talented and amazing Madison Beer. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. (laughs) I'm so happy you're here. This is crazy. You're Um, our third guest. Wow, am I really? Yeah, Yeah. you're pretty early on. And we're triplets, so it's like two threes. I'm honored. We need one more somehow. I know. Also, actually, I didn't even mention the... Most important guest as well is also under the table. Your dog's here. You guys can't see him, but you might be able to see him, but he's, he's at some point under you might table? see him. Um he's laying right underneath me. He's, like my God. he's sound boy asleep. He is. Yep. He's so cute. But... So wait, rewind really quickly. Campers. Yes. Campers. Is that what they're called? Um they it's kind like of viewers force of... that. Yeah, it's like it's like uh it's podcast strict, you know. Like I don't say that anything else. But okay, like, that's our not like podcast the viewers, no. I Got just it. say campers, it was like I don't know, I think Matt came up with it and then I said it and then I it's like, like it. stuck it. I definitely I like didn't it. come up with it. Maybe I did. You just said you that definitely one day did since the beginning of it. I like it. Matt might have just like approved it, but thank you, thank you. I feel like we could have we have such potential as being triplets to have a really cool like fan base name. Didn't you once tell me it? I think you once told me. I don't. I you don't guys think have like have a fan one. base name. I thought you I told me. I don't think we do. I swear you told me it, but it's fine. What's your fan base name? I don't have one. Same. Okay, we I, we have I work to do. I feel, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I feel like the fans have to come up with a fan well, base name. So I, when I was younger, I came up with one, and it was, I was thirteen. So before <laughs> you speak, it was Imaginers with M mm. A D in it, like Imaginers. Yes. Okay. I really can't even Word say it out loud. It's kind of hard. But um, yeah. So ever. Since that day, people will be like, "Oh, we're Imaginers," and like, please leave that in. Let it die. Yeah, yeah, we got um, um, we got a, we got some fan thinking to do across the board. We'll have to have like a fan creative session. They'll have to all get back to us. I um, get like alcoholics a lot, and I'm like, maybe, oh, yeah. maybe oh, not. Oh, I get it. Oh, Nick, come on. come on. I was gonna make that joke like right when we started talking about it, but you I you and everyone else. Yeah, <laughs> really. I didn't even <laughs> no, know. I, was was I didn't even I get it once you it. said it. That's crazy. I no, would never. Like I was that. about to make that joke, and I was like, she's probably heard it a million times. Like the same way we get like triple threat and stuff, and like so. Yeah, here's Madison like vodka. the three stooges. Madison. Here's like on your birth certificate. Yes. Okay, cool. No, that's like a. I'm saying it now. That it's a stage name the whole time. I thought that that was like an actual genuine question. Like I've never met another beer. You know what's funny? I have. I literally wow. once met a guy. He was a waiter at a restaurant. He was like, "This is so weird," and I only know who you are because my last name is also beer. And I was like, "Wow." Also, you know what's also crazy? The only Sterni- the other Sterniolo I've ever met was also a waiter at a restaurant we were eating at. What? No way. Really? Yeah. It was um, with that one that mom and dad go to near the beach, like in like Revere or some shit back home. That's Only so random. Time. Literally, it was so, I was, but it was. I didn't different. even know that existed. It was, it was my last name different. was definitely longer at some point, and then it, like someone, like was someone like, down the line was like, let's just make it beer. Yeah, I assume short, and yeah, stuff. But, um, yeah. Like it was like a. It's I don't definitely know something that, crazy. I don't know what the word is. I feel like that's like a thing. Like there's like a vocab for that that I'm not gonna like know for what it shortening is. something. No, for like there was like a whole thing like, way back. <laughs> like, like, I feel like that Way happened back. to like lots of it people was, at some point. It was like, definitely it was, like, some back crazy there. thing. Not recently. Um, first thought that I have written down is the internet doesn't even know that you know we exist until this is coming out. So how did you first find who we are? And oh, and sorry, I was gonna add the only reason I'm asking you like that is because we follow you and stuff, so people know that we know you exist. Okay, but okay, they word, word, word. Nick, have yeah. that water bottle too. If you knock that over, me outing myself as a Stern Yellow fan today. Um. I think that the first, so I have always been just like active on YouTube, not myself, but like I've always just prowled the quarters of YouTube my whole life. And I feel like I remember watching, I don't know whose video I watched, but you guys just came on next. And instinctively, like I watched the same people always. So I was like, oh, like next. And then immediately you guys started talking and I was like, this seems really funny. And I don't remember, I we spoke about it the first time I met you, what video it was. Um, the Christmas one? Maybe? Oh, it was like, um... Oh God! Now I forget. No, yeah. I think I found it. We were yeah, I swear it was something was. Christmas. We were wearing Christmas stuff. You were wearing like a a hat, like a <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> no, so no, 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 no. I know what it is. Yes, I, it was like I reindeer had the, hat. I had something. a long sleeve purple vineyard vine shirt on. And I, had, I wow. think I had I think I had reindeer wow. antlers on. Yes, oh, yeah, you I had something. That's this. Yes, you had something it was the on one. I remember the one key point of that video. I remember is. Um, oh, Ryan's belt? No, Chris oh. dropped like a gum. I dropped a gummy bear, and I spent like a good three minutes trying to look for oh, it. Oh yeah, like and I stopped oh, all and our then I put bows on your nipples. Yes, like, Christmas. Bows. I remember though the moment I was like, I'm a fan, was when you got out of the car and you like were searching the trunk if there was someone in your trunk. Oh my god! I know. That was, no, it was that the, video. Um, 
I know which one you're talking about. That one got me. I like looked in the back and said, or I said some shit about like someone being in the trunk. And yeah, like, someone I have hiding to in the trunk. Now. Yeah, and then you got yes, because you paranoid me. Yes, I yeah. forget what it was, but I was paranoid. And then you got back in and grabbed like the ice scraper thing. Oh, I yeah. don't know if we're yes, yes, yes. You did. Okay, and you're like yeah. you expecting yes, snow expecting soon. snow soon. That's when I was yes. like, I yes. 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 sign me the fuck up. One. Yeah, that was sign such a good up. one. Yeah. Also, we ask everyone: is, Are we the first set of triplets that you've met, or is this like a? I this is just like a routine old thing. Yeah, for me. once, <laughs> a, week, once like a, a week, I do this. Like um, not as shocking. Like no, I think you guys are the first triplets I've ever met. Really? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. If I can remember correctly, I might be wrong. Does it feel like crazy, or are you just like okay? No, it's it's crazy to me mm. like i couldn't i my brain can't comprehend also we've having like three of me we've only been together like a handful of times but you've never incorrectly called one of us the wrong name which is like crazy i think it's because i've just been watching you guys also for so long yeah. that i like you just know like, i just know yeah you're hit i was I gonna ask know. you like how long did it take you think to like oh at first i was like i'm never gonna be able to tell them apart and i That's thought you guys would says. switch seats like i mm-hmm. didn't know that you were always was, in like, the permanent. same seat yeah i did not know that yeah. um and then when I realized that, I was like, okay, I think I can yeah. know who they are. Yeah. It gets easier, like, definitely as we, like, because th- we truly don't look that much alike, I don't think. I don't think so either, no. Yeah. Like, now I could never get you guys confused. If you could be a triplet, would you, like, decide to be? I think that's a tough question because I don't know. Question. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, I don't, it's like asking what, an, like, a made-up color looks like. You, you, can't, yeah, you actually can't but it's like people, understand. People you know? have asked us the same question, like, what's it like to be a triplet? And I'm and like, you're like, we know no yeah. different. Like, I, like, I have no clue. I've been, a, I've been not a triplet for two minutes max. And then I was a twin. And then two more minutes later, I was a triplet. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like, I like, can't fathom it. I just don't know. Yeah. I think, yeah, it would be, I don't think it would be good. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> no, I think, I think that you could, like, I don't know. It's so difficult too with like the position of life we're all in. Like being a triplet, it like uh, I don't know what it means. Like a, like a well, do you I know feel what like I'm trying to say? Being a triplet such like benefited what we are today. Yeah, sure. and I feel like if you were a triplet, it could have like totally up like changed your life. Like, yeah, it in a negative way. Could have been negative. Could have been positive. Yeah. yeah, you never really know. It's so weird. It could have hindered your whole. But career. I couldn't imagine there being two of me walking yeah. around. Yeah, just sitting right here. <laughs> that would have been wild. Um, uh, so let's talk about your new album. Your new album, Sounds Between Songs, comes out September 15th, or it did come out September 15th. Whenever you're seeing on, this. Yeah. Yeah. September 15th of 2023. Yes. You know, whenever backwards or forward. Um, what inspired the album name, Silence Between Songs? And also, we noticed that there's also a song on the album called Silence Between Songs, like chicken egg type thing. Like, what came first? <laughs> chicken, chicken egg. egg. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I know exactly yeah. what you mean. Um, so, first question was, oh, what inspired the title? Yeah, sorry, I hit you no, with like no, no. five at you're a time. Good, you're good, you're <laughs> good. Um, uh, so, I went through a really difficult time for a while that I was just like running from my issues, I felt like, and I was turning to things like metaphorically like sound and noise. Like, I've always mm-hmm. been someone that, like, I told you this, I sleep with the TV on, which he said was crazy. Yeah, he I'm was like, like that's I, insane. Right. Yeah, I, I have never. to. And I think that's maybe subconsciously like me not wanting to ever be alone or like with my mm-hmm. thoughts and you know, think about things or face them, like face some potential ugly truths. Like that's just been kind of how I've lived my life for a while. And then I got to a point where I just shit hit the fan quite literally. And I was like, I'm not gonna, I just made a choice of like, I'm either gonna fix my life or I can't live like this. Yeah. Um. So I chose to start working on myself mentally and like start taking my mental health really seriously. And I feel like that's where Silence Between Songs was come up with because, you know, I was like in, in between the, the Silence Between Songs in between the noise was where I really like learned who I was in in those uncomfortable moments where I was like, you know, not sleeping like with the TV yeah, on, yeah, not uh-huh. on tour, not busy, like not yeah. always distracting myself. That's where I really figured out that like, you know, I can potentially get better and like things can change in a positive way versus yeah. always like running from my issues. Yeah, long winded explanation. No, I know no, it's very, perfect. very good. <laughs> I know exactly you know. what you mean too because it's like in like a totally different light. Like it's gonna sound stupid because it's not the exact same thing at all. Like, in a sense, like, me, Matt, and Chris being triplets our whole life, like, the, we don't have, like, that silence that you're, like, mm-hmm. referring to ever yeah. because, like, there's no time to really be, like, alone with our thoughts unless we, like... Well, it's crazy because I kind of yeah. thought, like, s- like similar to her and different from what you just said is, like, I feel the same way when we go on a tour and then we have, like, a bunch of things going on. The mm-hmm. second we wind down, especially, like, going back home, I definitely feel more, like, in my head, like, yeah. for sure. No, it's crazy. It's it such is. a jarring experience it when really you're just, is. like... Especially at somewhere like tour where you're constantly surrounded by people and fans and music. And there's just like, it's so much energy constantly that when you go back home, there's really this like 
jarring just like what is going on right now your brain kind of can't compute it so i think that was like when i was just like whoa i need to stop running yeah because it just then gets way harder when i'm like alone and i am in those down times you know it just gets like significantly worse so 100%. I was just like, how can I be comfortable with the silence? And the higher the highs you have, the lower the lows oh, you could have. Absolutely. I keep moving my water into like 800 different places. <laughs> um, true. Yes. Real. Um, your, the so yeah, I asked you like seven it. questions. So but yeah. which one? What, what was number which one, which one came first? The oh, song or the album the name? The song came first and the song was actually more, it's funny because like the song was written first, but then I knew I wanted it to be the album title because of what I had just said, like Ooh. going through stuff. I was like, wait, I feel like this now the meaning is different. Because the song, Silence Between Songs, is more about missing someone in between Boom. the silence. Um, and it quite literally is like the, the lyrics in the song are like, sometimes it takes so long for the next song to start. I'm like, uh -huh. I didn't know you could miss someone in the silence between songs. Mm. Um, and that's what it was originally written based off of. And now yeah. it's like had a whole so new it's meaning. Like the album's like the expansion pack of the song. Definitely. Like you had a thought and you were like, not only can I make a song about this, but we're going to like double it up. You yeah. Know? That's crazy. Absolutely. Which song from the album are you most excited for your fans to hear? Just like, not even, not live, but like genuinely, like once they play the album, like you're most, like you want to know what they think of that one. Oh man. Uh, hmm. I don't know. There, each one is so different. I think, I think the one about my brother though, because I know that was part of your mm. yes. six questions at that once. Was, that was my, because last night, obviously we were hanging out with you and then I met your brother and mm -hmm. I was like, okay, his name's Ryder. And then we came home and then we were writing out what we were going to talk about today and I saw his name on the songs. I was like, I think that's their brother's name. And then yeah. they both tried to convince me for like 15 minutes. No, it's not. It's not. No, that or, is not no, true. I, I don't guys... think I didn't like try and not convince you. I was just like so surprised because like I had met your brother and then looked at the track list and it just like didn't sit in my head for a second because when yeah. I first heard the word rider, I was thinking of like a race car. A rider. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, I don't know why, but Matt, I was scared Matt when Matt I literally... put the track list out, people were going to think it was like the word rider r-i-d-e-r -E yeah I was like, people should have to no yeah and then not, I went, people should have to know how to yeah, spell a rider yeah i, I went to your brother's it. instagram and i was like they're spelled the same it's definitely about a brother it's definitely and then I was like, Nick, go ask her and then he Aww. did so yeah but matt decoded it yeah good job matt i'm good so job. proud of you so, thank you um i don't know what the question i was gonna ask was i had like such a great thought for that but it just completely <laughs> slipped my mind that's so upsetting was your has your brother like been a creative part process of the song like they're listening to it while it was being made or did you like shock him with it yeah i shocked him with it i didn't even tell him because i didn't want to be like premature and be like i'm writing a song about you and it's yeah. gonna be on my album and then i'm like it didn't come out well and yeah you're not gonna be on the album um but yeah i've been wanting to write a song about him for a long time and then i never felt like i was able to because mm -hmm. i just again like back to what i was saying like i didn't feel like i had I, I couldn't properly articulate the things that we had gone through. Like I started, you know, for anyone who doesn't know, like I started my career really, really young, which means he was really, really young. And he just kind of has been like, you know, had to deal with the product of like what my life has been. And it hasn't been his choice. And like a lot of that has just been, you know, kind of dark for him and whatever. So with time and with like age, I guess I've just always wanted to write sort of this like apology slash like empathetic song towards him um but yeah it took me years to figure out the right right words to say and um i finally feel like i did and i'm really proud of it yeah it's a really I'm, pretty song. I'm really excited to listen to that song we haven't I'll i know i don't know when this, this is coming out but i know we haven't listened i don't know if this As is coming out like after today, or before we haven't listened to it yes but, but this like, it might be Maybe. like public to everyone when this comes out so i don't yeah. know it's i don't know what tense to use but i'm really excited no that makes me think more song. even like with being triplets with them too like if one of us was in this alone and like if we had to like change the way we were behaving because like the other person mm -hmm. like oh move with your sister yeah and exactly all that. like that must be insane for him to yeah experience. oh definitely insane and i don't think i realized it for a really long time like i just was obviously busy living mm -hmm. my life and i was yeah. a 14 year old little girl i'm not like what how does this making my brother feel you know obviously i was at times but i w but he was fine also and yeah i think so much of it has to do with like you know we were just two kids that kind of like, I don't want to quote the lyrics directly, and I was about to, and that's so cheesy. Um, but we just kind of, like, yeah, we both were just wrapped up in it, and I think things moved so quickly. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he was nine or eight when, when I got started, so this oh, has just wow. quite literally been his whole life. Yeah, uh, that's wild. And so by the time that I was, like, 14, and he's, like, 11, you know, we just, we don't know any different at that stage. And we're, mm -hmm. like, having yeah. fun, and it's like, oh, we're in L.A., and this is so cool. And, you know, we, like, we're the kids who got to move out of our hometown, and how exciting, and... Um, there was a lot of times where I think that we ignored like the maybe not so great parts because we were like, this is cool. Yeah. And then things caught up with us and it was just like, wait, 
he's moved schools six times. He like has yeah. no wow. stable friend groups because his friends in, you know, Long Island are still living there. And then his friends in high school, he literally has changed schools four times when he's been in LA alone. Like, yeah. how can anyone expect to keep a stable friend group? So it's just like, I don't know. But as I've gotten older, I've been just kind of like, whoa, he went through a lot. Yeah. yeah. And even if, and I feel like I went through a lot, but I kind of chose to in a yeah. sense, you know, like I was still a kid, sure, but like, I actively was pursuing a career and like wanted to be a yeah. singer. He was just being a little brother. Yeah. And I feel like there's also like a, even for him and you, like there's like a turning point where I feel like you realize everything that happened in your life and it like hits at one moment. Like it's I literally, crazy. I just turned 20 and I feel like I just now have processed like what got me to here. And now I feel like I'm on like another 20. Like I probably won't realize what's happening to me now until I'm like 40. No, you like, know? like dude, it's like, like even crazy. Like, you're like cleaning our house and then being like, washing the table and then like looking up over my shoulder and like seeing five youtube plaques and then like for a second i have to like really think like holy shit yeah like, this is crazy like if you fo- like three years ago even yeah knew this when it's I- yeah. insane. insane that's how i feel all the time and i think that there's such this thing especially with like being a woman in the music industry it's so competitive and there's especially mm-hmm. like on social media i think it's more perpetuated by like you know people in the industry but also people on social media will like pit women against each other and try to make everything yeah. competition and you know it's a numbers game and whatnot and i've been able to talk myself out of those moments where i'll compare myself to be like oh she does you know way bigger numbers than me or whatever and i'll start feeling shitty because i'm like bro if 13 year old madison looked at you and mm-hmm, knew yeah. what you were doing i would die i would no, literally die sure. like so it just you can't I don't know I think it like to me when I hear people say that I'm always like never ever compare yourself to anyone and even For if sure. you don't have YouTube plaques or you don't have that stuff like literally anything you do I'm sure that like younger you would be proud of your older 100%, self yeah a hundred percent even know. taking an effort at becoming what you want to be yeah like, yeah because I think of so many things that I've done and like even like a year ago wouldn't believe it oh, which is oh, like same. insane yesterday you know what no, I mean yesterday like, it's, it's pretty wild every, as it's, the day's it's gone insane. dude even I just had a conversation today with someone where I like really stood up for myself and I was being very like no like this is how I feel and my feelings are valid and I'm not gonna like let you tell me they're not and even that I know for a fact probably maybe two years ago I could never say that like I never 100%. feel you know like I love myself enough to say that and be like I'm actually uncomfortable right now and I'm upset and like I'm not gonna let you treat me like this or x y and z so just little things like that yeah you have to feel proud of yourself in those moments yeah and I feel like even like uh even with like um not even making in front of me I'm gonna fidget with I know this is I love this thing but even like um like you something doesn't even necessarily have to be positive to be like uh a moment of progression you know what I mean like I find like I'm able to pro like progress more eventually if something horrible happens to me because then it's like it puts you in a whole new spot to like think differently about shit yeah but um where would you say you want your fans like what's the perfect environment for them to like hit play on the album like where should they be like what set the tone for them um either headphone users get in there i think this album sounds really beautiful on headphones Mm -hmm. letter all the way up or i'm a big car Yes, music player. So I'm I would say the biggest the car. car music player. Yeah, ever. get in the car and listen to the album. But um, I don't know. Yeah, something intimate. I feel like this album is not very like, you know, mm, yeah. <laughs> it's a little yeah. more like <laughs> whatever. We literally take rides dedicated to like music night drops. Oh, so do I. Like, just we have to go outside. Like someone so dropped, I. we have to go for a ride. And Sometimes it's the only it. time we leave the house in a day. Like we've sat and done nothing. That makes it's yeah. Like, let's sense. go get up and. Do something about Pick this. Pick me up on and your we way have next a neighbor time. That'll get all mad if we play music. Yeah, our neighbor's so annoying. But that's a whole <laughs> separate conversation. I had a horrible neighbor too. Don't yeah. Let's not get into the neighbors. <laughs> Chris gave him a fake name by accident. He calls him Fred. I'm like, that's not his name. He's like, fucking Fred. I do that with I'm like, everybody. Like, I love I'll that. Be like, whatever. Like, what's his face or like fucking. Yeah, and he that f- lady, and he fully Fred. knows. Fuck like, Fred. like, all right, this is crazy. Um, do you have a favorite from the album, like a baby that like is yours? I can't. Like a baby. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like a baby like... that is yours. Yeah, they're all of... my babies and yes. all my children. But <laughs> I couldn't tell you a favorite because they really do all mean so much to me. But maybe, uh, what's today? I would say maybe today it's this one called Envy the Leaves, which I think mm. is a really cool song. That no, that title is crazy. Like I read that too on the track list because I was obviously before we were talking today, I was dissecting the track list as one would, Love and that. I was like, "That's crazy," because it's like yeah. it's just a cool combination of words. Like Thank I want to listen to it, of course. Thank you. Um, what song are you most excited to perform live? 
Oh, I'm excited to sing Spin In Live because there's this high note in it that I am excited Dude. to sing that. Oh, yeah, that is crazy. I'm excited for that. But um, I had a song, Tour is so, hello, Tour is so interesting because you don't like know what songs are going to click, what the crowd's going to mm-hmm. love. You know, I'll have songs that are like, you know, technically my bigger records, but then this other song will be just the one that the crowd goes fucking crazy to. And that was one of my songs called Boy Shit on tour. It was just the high of the show. No, that song's And a I wasn't banger. anticipating it to be. Yeah. Like, I love that song, No Hate to Boy Shit, but, like, I wasn't anticipating that to be, like, the moment, and that's the moment in the show. That song is crazy. Yeah, love that, that song. That song's God, just, yeah, Thank that song's you. Great, well, some songs are just, said. like, live, like, like, insane. Like, some people, like, it's just crazy to me that, like, some artists form songs to make, like, to, like, sing record them, them to sing them yeah, live. Yeah, no, like, like, I think that a lot of that went into this next album I'm releasing because I was just like I need to love every song and be able to perform it yeah like see every aspect of the song while you're creating it how would this sound live how yeah. would the sound in someone's bedroom when they're alone and want to listen to the album that was like, more so the thought is like mm-hmm. in your bedroom alone this with this one but yeah I'm I'm so excited to sing these songs but it's I, so fun. I even think of like you could hear the same song on your phone forever and then hear it live and then just have a whole new meaning of what that song is for you Oh, like, don't that is, even get me going on Yeah, that. like, that has happened to me so many times, especially touring and with our friends last time around. Like, I've heard all their songs before we were touring, and then, like, I was hearing them live at every single show, and it was just like, oh, my God, this is so different. Oh, no, yeah, every Dude. single show, I'm just like, I, wow. I was more excited for their portion of the show, getting to hear them live again than my own. So, Damn. No, even going to Summer Smash, like, I watched Kid Cudi perform, and I was walking out, like like scrolling through songs I already have heard a million times I'm like I need to like re-listen to that forever no it's crazy it gives you a whole new perspective I have a song called Homesick that was on my last album and I wrote that song about feeling like you don't belong on this planet and feeling like no one understands you and whatever and my voice I sound like I'm going through puberty and I um on tour there was lyrics that were like what took you so long like I thought that I was wrong but now they're gonna see this is where I'm meant to be and it's about like Well, I say that's where I'm meant to be, meaning like I'm supposed to be on another planet. And then on tour, I would say like this is where I'm meant to be. And it just the whole meaning of the song for me performing it. It was like the most intimate moment with me and my fans because we would just look at each other and I'd be like, what took you so long? Like, how did it take you so long to be in my life? Like, it was just the most sweet moment. And that song is so cute. And so it's such a sweet moment. on Do you have fans in the crowd that know like every word and you're just like looking at them like I can't just point them out like good shit there's definitely at least like 20 to 30 people that were on both my american and my north american tour that like literally Whoa. came to almost every single show holy shit that's oh so cool. my god that's yeah. insane crazy. yeah yeah that's I crazy they're going on tour too they're like, literally, no actually they, bus, they did the they did go on tour and that the last so night cool. of the last night of the tour which was in i want to say it was in oslo yeah i think um we were hysterically crying all of us and i was just like kind of with the few of them that have been there the entire time and I didn't, I was just like, it's like, like, leaving, like oh, it's like moving away. It's from like, like camp. It literally no, felt like summer no, camp. No, and I was like saying goodbye to my that. camp friends. Like yes, that's literally how that's it felt. So true. And I was like so emotional the entire time. And my LA show was the last one in the US. And again, I was just a puddle. Mm-hmm. That's so sick. Yeah, that's it's so, awesome. so cool. They're the coolest. All right. I have like a uh, topic two. I don't know. This is so new. So this is crazy. But I, lo- I love this. You're one of the, I'm going to move on to your creative process for all things that you do creatively and one of the things i was thinking is you we watched um a bunch of your music videos yesterday and all the visuals and storylines like for the music videos match perfectly to your songs like when you're oh, listening thank to the song you. like if i if you didn't have any music videos and i heard the song the music videos you've made already i would make if that makes wow. sense like if i was like like gonna, reckless is yeah. like a big book like if someone was sure. like if someone was going to tell me like oh you have to make a madison beer music video it'd look it look like yours you know I love the song, that. it's easily but how do you get that thought from your head to like having people um help you like put it out there you know what i mean my process has changed a lot like in the past couple of years i direct my videos now which has been so fun Gonna, like, you're doing your thing you're um, good i i it's been so much fun for me because i just i don't know like i always i always helped like part of the creative direction of it like i was always part of like the idea i never once let someone just like do it entirely themselves i always had a say in it and then i've also always been making like i movie movies my entire life uh-huh. like i used to run home and like make stop motion posted yeah, videos like Nick love video too. star that was my video shit like i it's all i did so i was like i feel like not that 
if you do that, you couldn't t- necessarily direct. But I felt like I could because I was like, I feel like I've always edited and I've yeah. always just like kind of known what I want to see on camera. Um, I've also just always been like a big movie person, as you guys. Mm-hmm. I've literally hung out Dude, with you yeah. twice. Yeah. I'm like, have you seen this movie? This movie? This movie? Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I started directing my videos because I felt like I really wanted to, and I've been working. I've worked with so many amazing people, and I'll usually co-direct with someone because you know, being behind the camera and also in front of it kind of yeah. stresses me out. Um, so yeah, I have like amazing people that help me, and I'll literally sit with you know whoever I'm co-directing this X video with, and I'll just be like, okay, I'm picturing. Da, 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 and they'll just type it all down yeah. and then poof we have a treatment and then we make the video and yeah that's, that's pretty cool. insane i love the what did we watch yesterday matt what was yeah the, i'm curious the, um i'm gonna forget which ones go with which songs but oh no chris said that the toast in the spinning video he like wanted to eat. oh yeah my God. Wait, what i was, was i oh, wanted oh, to ask you the toast. i was like the toast has to be fake it was uh-uh. cooked, real toast that was real toast that that's toast. crazy how many, how many slices cooked? of bread though wait i have a picture on my instagram it was literally actually. cooked to perfection like I know. whoever made that toast no the toast slapped and honestly <laughs> everyone on could it be the first slice like everyone no on no 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 we did three slight okay. we did three butterings of toast yes oh butter. my god three butterings the, is crazy <laughs> the three butterings the yeah. toast literally this is looked, a picture of the extra oh one. my okay. god they and they were like perfect. i know somebody's like that's wesley had, our set designer she's i literally thought yeah dude, she's, she's a toast designer she no really, yeah. i know that was literally crazy. it was so she funny because after we would we would butter a slice i'd be like Anyone want toast and six guys? Would be like I do, and just no, everyone's yeah, like yeah. fighting I, over. I would go toast. there next time just to have. They like want you to mess up again so that you. They're just <laughs> yeah, they're toast. like no, 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 we didn't get the shot. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was so fucking hot in that room too. So the the butter was like melted. Mm, it was um, great. It's oh set. It was great. It's perfect. You spread that thing with ease. Like Thank you had you. in there. You said I've had years of practice. Yeah. Nick, what, did you, what did you want me to alley oop you with there? Which video? No, I was thinking of the full video of um. Well, I'm sorry for forgetting, but the song, it's the poker how dare themed, you. the Showed poker me. themed. Yes, I, I almost said that, but I was like, I'm but wrong. It's not it. it was my <laughs> yeah. thought, but I was like, I'd rather ask for uh, forgiveness here than permission. You know, I need I you understand. to just tell me. But um, what about your creative process for cover art? Because that's a little bit. I don't want to say it's simpler, but it's like more direct, and it's like one thing. You know what's funny is you would think it's simpler. For me, it's harder. Like really? I actually can create a music video with ease mm-hmm. in my head cover arts i will be the bane of my existence i fucking hate picking really? cover arts so much i've always hated it i like can't fucking stand it well i guess with the music video at least you have like a bunch of shots you know what i mean it's well, like, and I'm, also, like I'm listening to the whole song and i can picture each lyric and i'm like this is what i want every word to look like and feel like well even each song could have a different like album cover like it's insane yeah like, literally, exactly like, picking one for that matches the whole album don't even talk to me about yeah. it it's, 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 me out. it's just me out so much yeah i can't do it it's the worst part of to me, it's the worst part of releasing music. I wow, the album cover—that's crazy. I hate it. I feel the. Um, I love my album cover now, but I like just changed it. You changed it? Yeah, I had I had an album cover that I launched, um, the title with, and then I was like, nope. Swapped. Swapped. I swapped. To love so that I, though. At least your confidence to like swap it up. You know what I mean? Some people feel like they have to stick to it. Like no, you're doing I've it. I've learned that like. Even if let's say for like a month or two, people are like, "Wait, what? She changed her album artwork for the next." Hundred yeah, years, literally. people will only remember the one I changed. It yeah, to, the so posters, it's everything. You know, it's you know? like whatever. What will last longer? Yes. Yeah, I love adding like lead singles to my like whenever I have like songs and I listen to and I add the leading. So they have the different one. art, and then it has the yep. different art. Like, oh the yeah, OG yeah, yeah. Art, mm-hmm. And then I'm like, yeah, I added that when it was a leading single. It wasn't even a part of the album. That's the flex. I love doing that. Like Big I do that flex. all the time. Do you ever like go back and do it, or is it like a you can't go back and do it? You have to. Do you it have on the to spot. Add it. Once, yeah, once, once the it's album on the drops, album, the it, like, yeah, but you could find it. the single. Yeah, no, yeah, no, but it'll have yeah. a different. It'll have the new art. It will yeah. have the art. Wow, the, yeah, oh that's why I always flex. Like, how many new I had this added when have? it was like a single? I'm learning. That's crazy. Album. How many new arts do you have? Probably like none. Dude, <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably very few. Probably very few. All of my music taste comes from like people around me. Like, I don't go and listen to music. I listen to what is happening around like if someone plays a song i'm like oh i like you're that. not actively seeking out new music i want to but i honestly just don't like i know there's a lot of artists like when they drop a bit oh, i want to go listen to their new stuff but i find it so difficult to like scavenge for someone new oh i, I think understand. it's so easy but it's i spend so fun, like a majority yeah. of my day scavenging for new music me too i just also hate skipping a song 
So it's like if I'm playing like new music and I'm like a minute in and I don't like it, I'm just like I feel like I have to give the rest Let a chance. Let me finish like, it I out. Won't. Let me give them you know that stream. I, mean? like, I, I don't want to be like, but like I'm always like, what if like that last minute is like changes my life? What if it's amazing? Like what if it, yeah, there's like, what no, if it's I'm awful and you just wasted a full minute of your life you'll never receive See, it's again? A, it's a risk you got to no, take. Even the new mm-hmm. um, the new Travis it's Scott song, the, the My Eyes one, where it's like slow, like two minutes, and then it switches to fast pace. Almost skipped it. Almost did. Would have been the biggest regret of my life if I did. Happy I try to not skip songs too. That's a yeah. good point. I've never thought right? about that. But I, because I, I know that I have songs that pick up or change a lot yeah. in the second half. So I try to give people the same. You got to give it a chance. Yeah, I got to really give, give these boys a chance. Pressy, how you doing? I was going to get him water. Do you he's think he's knocked, chilling? He's he was out. in the music video. He was in the music I video. I saw that. Yeah. That's like one of the first things I noticed. I was like, yeah. Pressy made the video. He was such a good boy. It was so hot and he. Two take wonder. He yeah. killed it. Yeah, it's Presley. Presley's, Presley's taking less takes than the bread. That's crazy. Seriously. Yes, that's, yeah. crazy. Wow. that's crazy. The live moving dog took less takes than the, the toast. toast. That bread was difficult to work with. That toast is crazy. crazy. Um, which of your music videos would you say is your favorite? It has to be spinning now because I mm. just did it and it's like fresh and I'm just I think it's really cool. But other than that, I think maybe selfish or reckless. Mm. Maybe reckless. Home to another one's crazy too. Home to another one I love. Okay, that I one's love really Yeah, I love reckless. Reckless is good. just so They're like so good. It, it was just really the beginning of this like era for me, mm-hmm. like the bows and the little dresses. Like mm-hmm. it was just like it set the tone for my whole tour and everything. So I feel like reckless will just always have a spot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Completely valid. Did it feel weird to have the things on your head in the music video for the home to another Dude, one? Dude, um, yeah, I did. And I was just like, like going like I that do all that the time. So bad. I would love to have that. It was. I don't do well with like. The special a lot of like, like I just don't like yeah, that girl, kind you of were stuff. Blue, like I was blue as fuck, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Jay, who was my love interest, this yeah. guy who's like amazing, he's so sweet, and he actually made the video so fun because he was like the coolest, sweetest person. Um, and he was such a trooper. He was in that shit for over twelve hours. Yeah, and that's like, God. and he Crazy. was also wearing a turtleneck, and like it was so hot on set. I was like, dude, are you good? I feel but... like all like music videos and like are hot. Like they're yeah, like, like sometimes. No, no, no. The issue is that every time I've been in clothes, they're always hot. But then like for selfish, I was in water and like in oh very God. minimal clothing, and it was freezing. And yeah, it was like, freezing. the one time that I'm naked, essentially. Mm. It's always it's like the, when there's a lot of like electronic equipment, it just gets hot. No, yeah, it's hot. That's why they try to blast the AC because oh it's like God. hot oh, and overheating, so hot. but I prefer it hot. I would rather it be like sweltering hot on a set than freezing cold. That's crazy. So, yeah, I'm the opposite. So cold. I can't. I'm Once always Once it gets cold. hot, I just shut down. Like my body yeah. can't deal But sometimes with it. when I'm cold, I feel I like I'm going to crack. It. I feel like I'm just going to like step well, in my own life <laughs> <laughs> and I just like fall <laughs> to the ground. Like I'm going to reduce it to ashes. <laughs> yeah. No, I completely agree. I completely That's agree. so funny. I fucking hate being cold. I mean, at least you have to be blue for the whole time. You know what I mean? I was blue for 20 minutes. Yeah, like, that's, that's all I'm saying. Like, we're, we're, the, so that's almost more be, annoying, though. Like, you well, were just yeah, like, it's also, like, rushed, and I was just like, oh, I kind of wanted to, like, be in this for a second. Yeah. But we had to have, like, camera wrapped at 11 p.m. There was no going a minute over overtime. Like, absolutely not. We would get in a lot of trouble. Um, And at, like, 10... 37 we were still shooting a shot where i was not blue and i that was like insane. and i turned insane. to aaron who i was co-directing it with and i was like we're not gonna get the blue shot and this is like the whole point of the video is yeah. that like i'm cheating it, on it like, like that's the whole that's the, the whole thing the whole... and she was like worst case we could do it with vfx i was like fuck no we're not no. doing it with vfx like yeah. we are, i am gonna be you have fucking to be blue. authentically blue i want those antennas yeah yeah now bitch and so, it's part of the experience it's part of the experience so i did it we ran upstairs and we ended up just like um, I think I put gloves on or something so we didn't have to do my hands and then we just did like my chest and my face and the VFX artists were amazing. Took them that literally so 10 sad. minutes That music video crazy. I actually, um, possibly cutting this out, sent to a team for like creative today. Like they're like, really? what's your inspiration for something? I'm like, watch this music video right now. That whole, that whole. Like the retro mod, yeah, possibly 60s kind of. So, retro such futurism. A good, yeah, yeah, I love that. S- such so a good. Cool. Have you ever seen the show Maniac? No. Okay, of course. Why do I? Even I ask? haven't seen anything. Why do I asked? even ask? I need if to, you guys have, have seen like, anything. No, we no, need we, to set aside weeks. like ninety hours. Literally, yeah. we have weeks worth I of watching yeah. to do. Everything I watch or like am entertained by is what Nick is, and I just sit with him. Like I don't, I've, I don't think I've put a show on myself like in years. Like literally, there's years. been multiple shows that I've watched fully through first, and then been like, okay, I really enjoyed watching this. Yeah, and then I'd watch it with one of them, and then they'd enjoy watching it. 
And so I, I watched. I'm like on my recruiting third one try. <laughs> I'm on my third sh- third time watching the show. It would be like Chris's first. No, that happened sh- when Stranger Things first came out. Like yeah, we watched one. it in like Matt individuals. Matt watched it and then so, Matt watched it with God. Nick, and then they both watched it with me. Like Matt saw the Stranger Things season one I've three times. I've seen Money Heist three times. I've seen The Hundred three <laughs> times, and I've seen yeah. Stranger Matt Things usually three starts, times. but like. Oh my God. I was gonna well, diss Matt, but so I'm like, this is gonna be an environment to diss Matt. But I was gonna be like, it's because like me and Chris will be doing shit, and he'll throw a TV show on, so like, he has more chances no, to find a good no, show. No, sure. because if I'm in like, if I'm into a TV show, I'm into a TV show. Like, yeah, that's how I am. No, like, he's in the like, shower watching it, he's shitting watching it, he's yeah, pissing course, watching it. Like, course, like, you have course. to though. Like, what's what's holding you back? Yeah, exactly. You gotta do that. Yeah, so that's the problem. Get through it. There's so much holding him back. See, I can't watch shows that come out like once a week because I. I have oh, no oh, patience. Yeah. I have you just, little you just to no patience. Yeah, I'm like, and I and just then, want this to be yeah. finished now yeah. so I can mm. binge. But I, don't, I will say it is fun when, like, you know that, like, okay, that's not fun, but, like, when a character's, like, gonna die and then, like, Chris is, like, watching and, like, you know in two minutes the character he's like watching my, is my ex- Oh, and you're, like, my reaction. And then I'm, yeah. Yeah, and then I'm, I'm just looking at Chris. Like, I don't care. <laughs> I feel that way about every movie I've asked you yeah. guys if you've seen I want to I need to be present when you watch them yeah. so I it's like we're like, sitting this way watching the TV we'll you're sitting the other way I love way. I love when there's yeah. like a good little twist it, coming it's like the worst thing ever when someone twist. goes on yeah. their phone when you're <gasps> oh my yeah. god like, oh <laughs> yeah. my yeah. god if someone asks me to watch <laughs> like something phone I will not go on my phone just out of pure like I can't hurt Respect. this person. It's literally yeah, yeah, just it's like, yes. fuck, like, I, I care about this. Put your fucking phone down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that pisses me off. And also, I don't like watching shit that has a bunch of seasons because then I have to watch every single season. No, that's my jam. That's my jam. I haven't you get seen so a lot of watch. classic shows. Like, I haven't seen, like, Game of Thrones or, like, neither have I. I haven't I've seen, seen any of I've seen two seasons of Game of Thrones, actually. And that's Kids a said lie. neither have I. And <laughs> He's like, well, because I'm not even done. I'm not even done. So I don't count him watching it, like, a month ago. I was like, that's never. I've never even seen, like, a clip. It's good. It's just they Me use they use like that. They use the 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 language. Yes, <laughs> like the they're like knighting each other. I'm like, what the fuck <laughs> are you saying? Like, I can't do this. I wasn't there. Like, they're talking about like <laughs> I, I think like all such medieval your vibe, shit. Though, like, yeah, but I wasn't there. I don't know what they're <laughs> saying. I'm like, hold on. Like, give me a second. They. It's like Shakespearean. Yeah, and there's language. like there's make believe like lands too, and I'm like, is that oh, real no, or I've just what? always like looked at Game of Thrones as like dragons and people having sex and yeah, just like, it's like so, oh my god, mostly isn't it so sexual? sexual? Yeah, crazy I don't sexual need to. Is it like yeah. incest shit? Too? Yeah, they have like so. Oh, yes, I've incest. heard that. I'm like, it's yeah. dragons, <laughs> no. incest, not and because like it's just crazy. Not to spoil it, people Game of Thrones fans are gonna be like, what? They're the gonna be so mad. No, they're literally not. We haven't indulged in the show. Yeah, I haven't seen it. No, but not to spoil it either. Not spoil it either. I'm gonna fully spoil it. So like whatever. Pause the show if you. If like the whole thing about like the incest that's happening is like the king dies and like his son takes over the throne, but it's not actually his son because like the queen's talking her brother instead of the king. So like the kid who gets you got me hooked. He gets the he gets the on. throne yep. that is supposed to be from the king, but the king's not actually his dad. So technically, he has no ties to royalty because he's like the queen and her brother's oh, wow. kid instead of the king's son. I'm not following. Are you new? The queen's brother. <laughs> no, hold on. Instead of the queen fucking the king, I, like, the queen fucked her, her own brother. Her own brother. Yes, but she's only the queen. Oh. Is, yeah, she's only yeah. the queen because she's married to the to the king. So the boy, when the incest baby, like the queen and her brother had him, he has no ties to the throne. So that's so, all no, I've seen king, so far. The king thinks the ki- the baby is with him and the queen, but in reality, it's queen and bro. Yeah, and then he dies, and <laughs> that's he, uh, crazy. He dies. That, and then, see, the language made yeah, me understand. Yeah. Yeah. And then that he, was crazy. Queen and he, bro. The king dies, and the kid takes over the throne, but he's got no ties. But no one knows well, other he does than the have mom. ties because it's the mom. Yes, but the mom, the, the dad, the, the dad. royalty. Yeah, but now he is because. But dad whatever, right, we don't have to get into it. I don't. I, I gotta watch the show, but that's. I have to pee, have to so I'm taking a break. I'm going downstairs. What? I have to pee because I've, I've had to pee for like 38 minutes. <laughs> 38, so. 38 and <laughs> no, 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 exact amount of time on the. I would ask you another question anyway while he's not here. It's so strange. I don't know. Like, or which? Presley's following which, him. Which music video did you have the most fun during filming? Honestly, probably home to another one. Really? Because of my love interest. He was the funniest person. We, like, had the best time Did you all meet day. that day, or is he, like, a friend of yours? No, we met that day, but I casted him, and I just, like, we kind of, like, people kind of knew of him, whatever. Yeah. Um, we didn't know each other at all, though, and he was just so funny, and he was such a good yeah. sport. Like, you kind of have to be a good sport to be in that makeup all day. Yeah, literally. And so I was kind of anticipating him to be, like, sort of an asshole, because he's like, thanks for doing this yeah. to me. Um, But he was amazing, and just made me laugh the whole day. Word. I love him. We love Jay. He was great. Wonderful. Presley's, Presley's making an appearance. Yes. He's coming up, which is what? Yes. 
Yes, he's so he cute. He is so he's cute. cute. Oh my How goodness. How often does he get to go with you to like stuff? Because he's in the music video. He, Presley comes with me frequently, but not too much. I'm not he's like so a he's cute. always with me kind of person, but he, yeah. he, he's, he hangs. He loves and he's a good boy. Presley. What's your opinions on that? I'm trying to hide phone number on the Oh, caller. you're so smart. Yeah, maybe. It's not It's not even my phone number. We can blur it out too, which is Where no is... worry. Hold on, oh, I got he's you. Gonna, he's going to literally just pair. <laughs> he's going to try to But <laughs> um, it, Presley. It. All right, Presley, we're going to ask your mother some more questions, if that's all right. You can Imagine hang he said, it's not all right. He's like, yeah, he just no. like, he's like, hold on, you're not doing He's like, I actually have something to say about the spinning music video that I was just starring in, so give me a second. We should hear um, how he felt. Yeah. During. Yes. I keep thinking I'm going to see his head, but then it doesn't pop up. Pop your head up, King. <laughs> um, so the next question we have, the, we have two more topics. One is lighthearted questions, which is like not as fun, but they're like fun. You know what I mean? And then there's car video themed questions, which is what we do. Which Should is we do like all the crazy of them? Ones. But we're, yeah, we'll start with the lighthearted ones. Like eight, I want to do every car then, question. Yeah. yeah. There's all timers that are seven hours. hours. <laughs> I'm going to do Nick all of them. put them in the, the orange mystical. Yes, I'm going to end up making you cut the whole first half, half of the podcast and only <laughs> oh, using yes. it. Yes, never. So we have lighthearted questions. Where is your favorite place you have ever performed? Oh, like like the show or just in general? Just like, or actually I feel like so a bad question. I say we think like um, or favorite place you've got to travel to, like to shows aside, like you're just like happy you were there, you got to perform, it was like a fun thing, if that mm, makes any okay. sense. Okay, because you said both, I'll say Amsterdam, because I just Ooh. love Amsterdam so much. Um, Did you eat a falafel? No. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? Is it? We haven't I been. Th- I What's think, like Amsterdam falafel? I think falafel? he's going based off, there was this local place back home where we lived called Amsterdam falafel, but I don't think that's like, I feel like I'm, it has to, that's like <laughs> saying like, oh, like fucking Fenway Frank, and then you eat a hot dog. Like, I, don't I don't know. know, to be honest with you, but I love Amsterdam and it's amazing. And I have a lyric in a song that says, lost my phone in Amsterdam. So I was like, is it so true? Excited. No, did you lo- no, I did not lose my phone in Amsterdam, but I was so excited to go on tour to finally be able to like sing oh. that lyric with the Amsterdam yes, crowd. Yes. You just threw your phone into the crowd. They went fucking crazy and it was literally one of the highlights of the whole tour and then I fell in love with Amsterdam because the first time I went there I didn't love it so much because I just was like only there for a second. It was like really cold out. I just didn't spend time there and then the second time I went I was like I want to live here. That's how I feel I with like traveling here. places is you have to do it right if you're going to really I loved it love so much that it. I went to London for well I went to Reading and Leeds for a festival yeah. a year and a half ago or whatever and I stopped for Am- in Amsterdam yeah, for one day so I was cool. like I need to That's mad fun. Yeah. to see my place. Dude, even like New York, I always tell people I hate New York, but it's only cuz every single time I've been, I've been cold, miserable and gone into the middle of Times Square. Yeah, well that's not what you want to be like, doing. Like I feel like I need to go to New York Times Square and it's like Like I'm from Long Island, stuff. which is maybe 45 minutes outside of Manhattan. I hate sorry, I don't like Manhattan at all. Like I can't, I can't. I need to go somewhere that isn't the city but is New York. I feel like I need. Well, it's a like new... I feel like I'm not even Long in New Island. York. You gotta see like... Long Island. It's, it's like, like people fucking go M and M land. That's all there is. <laughs> like, I'm like, what? There's, it's yeah. like now what? I see a big yellow M M&M. and M. What's next? <laughs> Just the yellow one. I think he's the biggest. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think he's the <laughs> biggest. Think objectively, and I think he's the statue in the front. That's yeah, what I, said I that. think that is also true. Next I don't know. Is like... Fucking Spider Man and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles just walking around. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's Elmo. Like, it's like what the fuck? Yeah, is it's going like Minnie on? Mouse. But if you don't pay her, she'll sucker punch you onto the ground. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. Um, Dude, I want to go back and get like the Eminem shirts. No, no. Yes. <laughs> we oh all, my god. We should all do it. Actually, like, we'll all get a different color. You can. You were so <laughs> you were so yellow. I'm the biggest one. <laughs> I, was about to say, you could be the yellow. I you knew were you were gonna so, say you were that. You were so against it, and then you were you well, like. Well, I was against it. Like, hold on. Well, that I was against cool. it because Chris came up with the idea. But then I looked at wow, Madison. I looked at Madison. and I was like, oh my god, if we get enough people to be all the colors, then I'm down. Yeah. How many more do we need? Like one. Oh, one. I think a lot. One. one. There's only one more. How many M&M colors are there? Like to orange. me, it's like infinite. <laughs> infinite. Orange, yellow, green, blue. Brown. Brown, oh, and I want to be the green one. I want the boots. And no, purple. No purple. No, no. Pur- You're crazy. Wait, there There's is a purple, purple Skittle. Skittle. Wow. There's a purple Skittle. No. Isn't there a purple m M&M? and Skittle. Purple, like, Skittle. No, aren't Skittle, there like Skittle. commercials with a purple M&M no, in it? No, I think there is now. I think they like added it. Guys, don't do this right now. I think she. I think she's new. She's dude. A new they're candy. adding no. too many. It's like you're a good candy. Chill the fuck out. No, there's... well, no. What that Skittles is changing there is the a... flavor. Yeah. See what? She's purple. Tell That's you. actually crazy. That's ins- I'm actually like Skittles shocked a is bit. changed. Like I'm Skittles shocked. continues to change the flavor of the green one. 
between like it's lime. lime. The green one's never the one I it's go for. It's lime or green apple. Like it could. In a, in a bag of sour Skittles, I go for the yellow one. I, I love uh, sour Skittles. Ooh. Love sour Skittles. I don't like, I like oh. them and fucking mouth apart. Um, I like uh, pretzel M and M's. Oh wow, Ooh. good answer. Yeah. You oh objected mine. What about peanut butter? Oh, love. Hold on. Love, what great. about caramel? Ooh, caramel um, was ass. Nice. Yeah, those yeah, are good. Like, <laughs> I'm not that excited about those. I would no, let. No, I would always put <laughs> that. Mini M&Ms. <laughs> mini that M&Ms? literally like this. No, because mini M&Ms were oh, like, no, in the so tube? good. Yes. Why are they so good? They're, like, they're, what do they put in those? They're I feel like an elephant when that tube comes out. I'm like, no, literally. I'm like, we're done. Second. It takes point one second. Point that one fucking done. second. I don't know why there's so much better mini. Way better. The crunch is always so good. I think mm. it's they're always a little bit melted. Like yeah, slightly. I think it's those you can just get no, so many. I think it's so good. I think that it's easier to melt them. I used to put a bowl of pretzel or no, was it peanut butter or pretzel? I don't remember. I used to put a bowl of M and M's in the microwave for like ten seconds, Ooh, and then that's I would eat crazy. them. No. You're gonna thank me later. <laughs> you gotta do, <laughs> it, like, do you add anything Dude, or just Presley like is eat eating it up? M and M's. You just know you just heat them up a tiny bit, like you literally just like bit. let them cook a little, isn't it? Like, just to get them warm, and M&M's then they're just like mushy. Old ads used to say like, oh, like won't melt in your hand, but it'll melt in your mouth. Oh yeah, you're like, right. That is a thing because like, it has because like, their the whole shell. thing was like not to melt. So you're kind of no, it, you're kind of melting. It melts. Them. Yeah, I think if you like listen to the sun, they would melt. Yeah, I agree. Well, so if you, you put know? Yeah. damn near anything in the microwave, it's gonna melt. Um, I think so. Right? No? I yeah, think I feel that's like I've true. definitely experienced an M&M melting in my hand. Like, when you, like, look and it's, like, a different color. Yeah, yeah, That's why your hands are sweaty, because the whole, the whole reason why it melts in your mouth is because of your saliva. Wow. Yes. Dude, no, it's true. Fact? Yeah. Very true. It's because they get wet. Like, the so shell needs to be sweaty. Even when you're sweating. Hand, it's like a pill. With, like, it's, yeah, like, so yeah, I think so. the same thing. I was going to um, ask something about candy again. Totally hold on. We're getting into, like, the fun Bracky, I want to ask like three more questions. Oh, about well, you. we're having say, fun. On tour, <laughs> let us I know, have fun. I know. <laughs> on tour, some girl gave me like Let's Trip tour themed M and M's, like with oh. my face on it, and like dude, it said, it's like, like she must have spent a like, so billion awesome? dollars. A yeah, that's insane. Isn't it so expensive to do Def that? Was a cadillion. <laughs> a cadillion so for sure. sure. That's like one of my biggest like peak humor things is making up numbers. Like I always say, like. One, bajillion, like everyone says. Bajillion. I was gonna say, yeah. bajillion Chris is the bajillion. one. Huge bajillion guy. Yeah, yeah. Like, I just love it. I, it's just so dramatic that it's. Yeah, perfect. it should be a real. I agree. Number. It probably is. It, Let's count. Right. <laughs> you start Chris, like now. if you started counting right now, like you wouldn't stop. Like where would you even stop? No, I'd stop. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you're wrong. I'd stop. Like, you could. I'd like, stop around like forty. I think I'd be like I'm over it. I, I would be motivated to like get to at least a thousand. <laughs> you're All wrong. Right, I'm, just, I'm asking the next question. Go for it, Matt. Who are your top three music artists right now? Oh my goodness. Right now? Oh, I hate these questions. Um sorry. <laughs> I just sorry. get stressed because this is like such a serious thing for me that I'm like, mm-hmm. fuck, I don't know. Um, um, okay, okay. Right now in this current moment, who am I listening to a lot? I have to see the Beatles because always they're in there for me. Mm. Um My answer is just gonna remain the same. Um Radiohead and Daft Punk. Those are my Radio. Well, those were I saw top three. I was about to say that. So yeah. What'd you say? say the Daft Punk thing in your house. Yep. You have one of their posters. I thought you were I on do. the song when I saw it. I literally wish. I was like, I need to go check this <laughs> My out. My ultimate dream. I thought it was yours. No, no. Um, Instant Crush by Daft Punk. I'm featured on. <laughs> Jesus. What are you watching recently? TV shows, movies, content. Be very interesting. Do you like a top three? Oh, goodness. Um, I recently watched... The docu series Smart List with mm. Jason Bateman and you know that yeah. do you know what I'm talking about yeah loved loved that TV shows How to with John Wilson is back on the air right now oh I don't I, know what that is I knew you you have to it. like make a I wasn't list of just I wasn't all your shows you know? and then we'll all, I know we'll it's watch a long it's a long and hefty one but that's a really good show and Nathan Fielder was the executive producer which you also don't know who he is but he's, he's a comedian the comedian you like yep there you go yeah um, and noted. then movies. I don't want to talk shit about a movie. I'll say a movie I liked recently. Mm. Uh, Oppenheimer. I liked oh, Oppenheimer. Oh. I want to go see Barbie. I want to go see Oppenheimer I love as well. that we all three haven't seen, four, have not seen Barbie. I know. Our friend's in it too. I need a cute pink fit first. I know. That's first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, we need to be yeah. slaying in a pink fit. <laughs> exactly. Um, I feel like they could have filmed something like in here. Like, <laughs> yeah, oh, for sure. I this, know. This is like, they could have came and like took a clip or two or something. Uh, if you could collaborate with any other musician in the world right now, and they would just say yes, like after you asking, who would it be? Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney. Yeah. That's fire. 
Slay That's down. So good. Thank you. What What are your favorite clothing brands? Or like, just give one. Like, you can gatekeep the others. I wear like predominantly vintage clothes, but mm. I, I guess like. Mm, that's so hard for me uh you can also like say pass pass okay <laughs> i literally don't have a Easy. favorite clothing brand um, depop is my favorite clothing brand there we go um okay let's go to the hat oh, 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 the, hat. Wow. the hat has the fun car video goofy Ooh, questions so how do you guys come wonder, up with your car video like concepts wonderful just, like, question we ask together? a lot of our fans for a lot of them and i've seen tiktoks recently and it's like the triplets asking us for ideas and then never using them like i saw that the i don't know they theirs but, are just aren't getting used <laughs> some of them are just but like, you have used fans oh, oh no the like, majority at, like at the beginning <laughs> of our out, youtube buddy. we used yeah, to use them a lot but now i feel like like, as I am living my life, I'll think of a good question and write it down. Yeah. Okay. Like, I, I, a lot of them just come straight from my brain. One the other day that I was going to ask you at yes. your house. Oh, my God. I can't wait I to I was going to ask it to you, but then I saw it in a TikTok, so I, like, don't know who said it first. But, it yeah, like a lot of not my Credit to the owner. A lot, the owner. Of <laughs> the, a lot of the things that we've done, like, our fans are literally responsible for a good 80% of, like, our content. Like, wow. genuinely, like, we ask and we're, like... We use a lot of it, and I know people complain like, "Oh, we well, didn't use any of it." But it's like they don't understand how many responses we literally just got. Yeah, of course. Like there's so many of you, so we do use a lot. And a lot of it, if we're not using our fan subs, like if I have a question that's funny, I will literally. It could be Friday, and the video had just come out, and I will literally wait a full week to ask Matt and Chris when we're filming that's instead. Amazing. Because like, I love that. yeah, because I I also feel like we I don't want to repeat ourselves, so I like. No, make sure even, I like, save Nick will have a funny No, for sure. Story. And if you first say something to someone, they like can initially give you yeah, their opinion. Yes. I, I, yeah. I agree. And like Nick will have just like funny stories. Like Nick will live his life and then write shit down. Like yeah. the airport stuff. Whenever yes. Nick has a funny airport doc experience. Oc. The Doc Ock one. I'll was, never forget. That's like my favorite clip on our channel. Like of That's all time. definitely one of mine as well. And then the other one. That the, was the oh first one I ever commented on. That was like yes. me being a public sterniolo girly. Yes, I, was, I, was, I said something. I said, oh, I think because she did this. And I was like, thank you for doing the finger prongs Yeah, the girl like was reciting what you were yeah, saying. Yeah, she, and she did oh, it perfectly. And she did it. And I commented I I on it. You're talking Amazing. About. I commented on it and I was like, thank yeah, you for doing it. Yeah, she went crazy. Oh, she did yeah, a yeah. bunch of them haircut too. story killed me when I heard that. It's just yeah. like, I feel like. You're just, just so funny at telling shit stories. happens to me. Like, I love expressing stories like exactly. Like, I don't exaggerate, but I say it exactly how I internally feel. When Your it's vocabulary is just so fucking funny. I think that's really. Thank you, guys. I so trash. Like. Me and Nick have a perfect mix. He way, just uses big words that I won't understand, and he's just like. Well, then it just sounds Nick's funnier because you're like, I don't even know yeah, that like, word. I don't meant. even know what you just funny. said. But, but also, my sense. whole life, I don't know what it is, and I hate adding to this conversation because I'm like hyping myself up. But um, it's okay. Go for it. Go for I it. can so quickly think of like a <laughs> metaphor or like a relation to something. Like if something's happening, it's like, oh, it's as blue as the sky, <laughs> for example. <laughs> I could say like it's as blank as blank in like a blink of an eye. Like it's just like. It hits no, me even in like the head. when we were talking about mini M and M's. You said you're like an elephant, and you could just yes, like, yes, like that's I would true. Never thought to it's, say that. I would no. never. My brain would never. Because well, I just think elephant. of like it's a tube. You're a fucking it's like, vacuum cleaner. Blue, I'm like, literally, it's crazy. Okay, I'm asking you the question. For yeah, the put other your day. junk away, Presley. Unless it is in the hat. <laughs> like no, I'm eating it. Not <laughs> Presley. He no looks more. so cute. Know, he looks so, so guilty. Cute. He should be guilty. <laughs> yeah, he's literally. I don't know if okay. we can air that, Presley. Inappropriate. I want to know. Can I need? I need to know the question. Yeah, it's, it's in like the been hat, but we can just me. ignore it when someone pulls it from the okay. hat. Like okay. Can just go ahead. If you could pick right now to allow a snail to follow you for the rest of your life. And oh you my get, God, I've heard this before. And you okay. get a hundred million dollars, but the second it catches up and touches you, you just drop dead. Like the second the snail touches you. Or is there an alternative? No, it's death. No, Chris, no, it's you like, didn't it's add like, that. Or just saying, isn't like, there another? No, no it's like a, you, you didn't say like, like a would you let it happen? Yeah, like yeah. A, it's like would you would you let the snail follow you and you get a hundred million dollars like granted into your bank? But account. I'm always running. But from you're the snail. always running from the snail. No. I know exactly. Or you could just say like, no, don't, don't chase. It. <laughs> I don't <laughs> want to be exactly. fucking moving around all the time. I can tell you what my strategy. But when you're sleeping. Would be. I could tell you exactly Are you my gonna strategy. Box yourself snail, in? No, can like, I like can't. box myself into a thing? But here's the thing: Why would you box yourself? Box the snail. No, no I'm gonna box the out. snail out of my bedroom. Snail, hear me if out. The okay. snail was, if the snail was on like the top floor of your house, and you just went to the bottom floor and slept there, you could probably get a full night's rest before that snail even gets hear close me to out. The I don't want to deal with all that. Okay, go ahead. Nick. When you're on life, too short to be running from a fucking snail. You're perfectly fine. You're just moving too. You're quick. moving. He's perfectly gonna fall enough. so far behind. My what about when plan? I travel on a plane? <laughs> that My is true. plan. What is he doing? Would fully be 
would fully be easily my plan would be fly somewhere, book an Airbnb for 10 months, go home, <laughs> and then you have like three years of freedom. <laughs> Think about it. Like if you go somewhere, do we and you know stay the measure there? of like how fast snails actually move? No clue. See, I See, have my, <laughs> I no have clue. my answer. What? I'm just gonna go to an island and place the snail there because what are the odds it can leave the island unless someone? Well, you can't takes, touch. You can can't place the swim? snail. I don't think so. I don't even think it could Hell get no. past the water. Hell there's like no. there's aquatic snails. Uh, maybe with what you're saying, I was just <laughs> picturing more just like constantly. I'm running from this fucking snail. And like you'd be paranoid every snail you see. Is Literally, I'm attack. like, I don't want to die. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if you see a snail, you're like, oh, I don't know if that's the one. Yeah. yeah. No, that's what I would do. I, if I saw the snail, I'd just I would travel. Go, I would go to an island, find a hotel, go to the top floor. This is crazy. Because so they're lost. not going to get all See, the way no, I'd die because I'd well. mock it. I'd wait till it gets close. Be like, fuck you. Like, <laughs> you're so you close. Wait, so it's like right, right. here. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, touch me. <laughs> or the young people do that. You can't touch me. Touch me. But but I'd, I'd spray paint it gold so I know that that's the one. <laughs> this is, How would you know, though? To spray paint that one gold. Because, that no, when they're oh, like, it when it's given, it's given to you at first. Yes, it's at put first, right in front of you and they're like, go. It's given to you and you're like, you can place a snail, like, then three, you two, can one. Run. Oh, you can place it first. <laughs> yes. No question. I'm 100% doing this. See, that's this. what I'm doing. We I'm could going do it. to a hotel. I can do it. <laughs> Easily. On the island, top floor, spray paint a gold and put a cup over it and leave. Easily. And I'm good for the rest of my life. It'll take about seven years for it to get out, I feel like. Exactly. Literally. Or just okay. dies. So Here, I'll pass you the hat, Chris. Oh, okay. You can start. Cool. The magic hat. Oh my oh, god! Oh wow, they're flying at you. Here, Matt, take the hat. I got you. Okay, if you could pick one last meal, what would it be? This place called Joe's Stone Crab, and it's right. in Florida. Wow, that was a fast. I was, answer. That's why I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I've been wow. waiting for that shit my whole life. Yep. Yeah. That's real meal, baby. What's wait? What is it? What's it's the meal? Stone crabs, and it's amazing. What is like, stone crab? I don't like, know actually. <laughs> I love that to say. Cra- a variant of a crab. I've, I've never had like, crab or lobster or it's anything. Really? Yeah. And I think Boston, I'm allergic to kind crab. of a sin. So it actually That's... would be my last meal. <laughs> <laughs> like, Give me that. Let's do it. It's really, fun. It's really good. <laughs> That's a good answer. Okay. I want to have crab so bad. It's really good. I, I feel like, like you lobster. Don't. I feel like you. Oh. Do you like fish? Are you a seafood person? I like salmon. I like scallops. I've cool. never, scallops? Never I love scallops. Them. Never what? Ordered They're them really life. good. My mom used to order them like all the time. They're like Mary, Mary Lou is a huge scallop. <laughs> like, love They're on scallops. the menu. They're hitting her plate. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so then yeah. I'd always try Is that my your mom's name? Yes. Yes. Mary Lou? Yes. Yeah. She's so cute. I love her. Yeah. Right Mary Lou's the goat. I, oh, so her wow. friend yeah. actually sent me the funniest video of her dancing. I have to show you. I really want to see Mary Lou. for like four seconds. Why did I not see this? I texted you. It's in the group chat. You just don't care about me and Nick. That's crazy. Wow. Who wrote this? Probably me. not you, dumbass. Yeah. Okay. If you were animated into any sort of cartoon style, what would you be drawn into, and what cartoon world would you choose to live in? They don't have to be the same. Oh, I would say like it's a really close tie for Rick and Morty and Adventure Time, but I would Adventure Time would maybe win for both. Okay. Like, like it's like style I would be, and where you. I would want to live in Ooh is where they live in Adventure Time. I would want to live there for sure. It's wow. definitely like. Rick and Morty, it would be stressful, I think. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, yeah, there's too much going on. Too much going on, too much, like, dimension hopping and shit. And yeah. many times, just a very peaceful little land. Yeah. yeah and I would love to live there. I'm doing another one. Okay. Because I didn't read that. Um, well, because that's, yeah, 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 that's no one's fault but your own. Yeah, correct. Um, <laughs> it was very legible, <laughs> yeah. as you can tell. I read the whole thing. If you had to live your life experiencing only one season, what would you choose? Spring, summer, fall, or winter? Ooh, that's so tough. Oh, maybe fall, I think. Uh, just because I, I always... feel like being from the East Coast, I just love yeah. like, oh my the God. little Fall's autumn. The best. I agree. I love an autumn. I fall always think my fall. shit. It's so nice. It I smells had 30... like I love like this. I could smell the leaves in my brain Dude. right now. It smells so I've, good. I've never been a pumpkin girl. <laughs> but. Pumpkin stuff hits Starbucks in two days, and it's on my calendar. In two days? Two or three. I'm afraid. Where did summer go? I'm just, I hate I, summer. See, I'm, see, I'm cheering. Static. I'm so <laughs> I'm, I'm cheering. So happy. Happy. I asked Matt and Chris I like this summer. in like a podcast. But, but I like, like fall better. being warm, so that's Yeah, like, yeah, I like being warm. I like, I think it's because you can I get am warm. always cold, so the only time I could wear my like dresses and like little tank tops is in the summer. Yeah. Any other time, Not even me. in LA, I can't do it. I could wear shorts in fucking December. That is crazy. Come join me, pal. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? <laughs> pal is such oh, a have funny... you seen? It? Speaking of dogs, Presley sit. Have you seen the? Um, have you seen the dog that's like 
emotionally attached to a pumpkin. <laughs> I asked Matt and Chris about this like two days ago. It's a dog, and he's genuinely severely emotionally attached to a pumpkin. Is it like a TikTok thing? Yes. No, I'm and not. And he unfortunately, the pumpkin, not the dog, the pumpkin unfortunately rotted and died, and the mom this fall is planting a whole pumpkin patch for him, and he's like sitting and watching them grow. Stop. I'm so I need excited. to see that. That sounds I, so cute. I can't wait till they grow, and he gets to like live out his dream. No, all my TikTok is about dogs with dogs that swim. Because oh, as you guys know, yes. Presley is, Presley's a swimmer. Dude. Presley Phelps Olympics. over here. Yes. Presley, Literally, he loves swimming. Um, it was amazing. But now my here... whole TikTok is just dogs swimming all the time. He got here dry today, and I was like, oh my God, you I didn't know. take a swim? Well, no, I know. No swim he did not swim. Don't let him see the pool out there. <laughs> no, I know. If the U.S. was making a new Mount Rushmore, and you had to pick four celebrities or public figures of any kind to be on it, who would you pick? That's fucking impossible. Nick. Impossible. Oh. That's impossible. Ooh, nothing's impossible. Oh, goodness. He said Who nothing. Who would I impossible. pick? Oh, my gosh. I would have my Mount Rushmore. Dude, I'm going to need a second to think about this. Who would you pick? Give me, like, I need, like, a, I need some context here. I would I'd pick, pick me, Matt, Chris, and you. Oh, wow. wow. Let's do it right now. I was going to say us three and Presley, to be honest. I was about to oh, say that. Oh, wow. You're going to leave me crazy. out of it? Well, That's just crazy. Like he look so That's... nice on the you know, stone. No, he would look beautiful on the stone. Yeah, he has to be wet. Because he's after, a swimmer. That's Presley, crazy. Presley after a swim. Yes. And us. <laughs> <Presley posts it. laughs> I, think, I think it should just be Chris, me, and then Presley, and then Presley again, but after a swim. Like two different oh, Two Presley. Yes. yes. You just left out Nick for, for swimming Presley. Yeah. That is a crazy question. Mm. It's a really good one. Thank you. My ears are turning. Someone else came up with it. I don't know who. Well, I loved it. I feel like I would. And I still don't have an answer. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> she loves it so much. I love it so much. I can't even answer. tell you. That's okay. It it's, would, it's us. It's us four. You can use your pass again. I'll grant you three. Here. I'll grant you three. You've already <laughs> used two. <laughs> you got one more. What is this? Lock. Like, I went to do the two, but I, just, <laughs> like, I used the wrong thing. Just... Presley. Oh my Presley. God. That would be so easy for me. I would just pick like the inventors of my favorite things. Like the founder of Pepsi has to be up there. Oh my, you and Pepsi, I can't. Like, he That's has a to good be, one, right? Actually, I'm like, impressed. Yes, and then what else do I really like? Like whoever made like an. Um, I was thinking of people and things I really like, but it would just be the same like four people I've spoken about already, and it's annoying. That's know, valid. But... It could have been valid. the creator of the McDonald's apple pie. That's McDonald's that apple one's pie crazy. is very mid. Can't be no, it's not. can't be that good. I like the McDonald's apple pie. I do order go. it in my post. Did you have okay. a grimace shake? The what? The grimace shake on his I birthday. I did not have the grimace shake. It was ass. You missed nothing. No, yeah, you didn't miss anything. I don't anything, need to drink like a but, purple shake. But I it's feel the like... same way I feel about those fucking blue talkies. I'm like, I don't want to. No, ew, gross. I don't want to drink this purple grimace <laughs> yeah. juice. Like, grimace liquid. Like, 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 being purple made it way worse. Like, yeah, no. The, well, any other color. Pardon? He's a taste bud. He is? Yep. That's his whole thing. He's a taste bud. Where did he come from? Like, what's Grimace's McDonald's story? But also... But, like, was he the original, like, before Ronald was their Grimace? No, Ronald, Ronald had a friend is group. one of, like, many. Eight. He's one of like a Ron Ron Mayor, uh, There's longer. Mayor McCheese. What are Mayor you McCheese. fucking talking <laughs> yes. about? The ham burglar. Okay, I've hamburglar. heard of the ham burglar, but I didn't the even know it was a McDonald's thing. In the Grimace. early bird, because you can only get breakfast in the morning. I have never heard of that. They all get their whole little thing, and Grimace is a taste bud. Yep. And Ronald McDonald just happened Grimace to be- Grimace had a year. He had a he he pop off this year. He did. <laughs> Dude, it was Grimace's I'm excited year. for his 59th birthday. I think it's 58. That thing is scary looking. But also- my the shake was awful, but my only complaint would honestly be that the shake is just not the same color as Grimace. It's like a lighter I, purple. I zoned out all the Grimace content. I was like, I don't no. even want to see yeah. it. It's scaring so good. me. It's honestly scaring me. That's completely valid. Next question: If you were offered something to eliminate your body's need to sleep, would you do it? Like you never have to sleep again? No. I'm what? doing it in a second. Sleeping is like one of the greatest joys in life, uh, I think. I love I to sleep. I hate sleeping. I can enjoy sleeping, what? but I only enjoy it if I'm exhausted. So I don't feel exhausted. No. <laughs> yeah. I love a sleep. Yeah, would you still get uh, tired, though? I'm like a napper, a sleeper for eight uh, plus well, also, hours. I wow. love Wait, it also sleep. says mm. that question was format. I always, since we've been doing car videos, I always look really deep into the we question. We always alter the question and it says, a little bit. No, like, it get says, into it. And give it like mini rules. No, because it says eliminate your need to sleep. Like you could still sleep. You just don't have to. Oh, okay. I just want to. Like I w- like, you would could be choose like, a life of sleep. It's a good sleeping. passing time, I guess. Because it's like if I had all 24 hours, what I really do. No, it's just also nice to sleep. Yeah. Oh. 
You're on the mic. Oh, <laughs> hello. Um, I think it's nice to sleep. I love sleeping. See, I feel like sleep wastes my time. I agree. I'm like, I wish I could do more. The second I feel like I'm going to sleep is when I feel like everything's falling apart and I need to be awake. Oh, wow. Like, I need to, like, oh, I need to wow. get up and get shit done. Oh, my God. That's how I feel. I look forward, I look forward to sleeping. Oh, flame. I'm like, I have to get in bed. It's more so getting in bed. No, yeah. You oh, can still it's, it's maybe it's I less... love rubbing my feet around. Literally, <laughs> like, just... so mm, strange. It's so good. Not as comfy as hotel What's sheets. What's better than that, so though? funny, Nick. No, literally, I... You well, think hotel sheets are comfy? No, no. it's a joke. Me oh, and Nick please. Yeah. I'm literally this like... Lady, this person. lady... We saw an ad, and it was like, it's as comfy as hotel sheets. I'm like, You're stop like, what talking. what fucking hotel yeah, sheets have ever been comfy in my life? You took the wrong approach here. Wrong. Absolutely wrong. I feel like I I'm, like dread staying even in the nicest hotels because they the fucking comforters. Oh, and not, the pillows. Well, like I've mistaken. gone to Target multiple times when I'm staying at like potential five star hotels mm-hmm. to get a fucking comforter because no, I'm like, oh, shit, what is this? Well, it's like you gotta yank. I feel like I'm like literally, I'm like, I'm like, like <laughs> ripping it out of the fucking <laughs> bottom of the bed, I'm ripping on. it. They fucking tucked that. What's shit your in. ideal pillow like firmness? Soft, everything. Really My soft? mattress. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. That's insane. I don't know, like, what spectrum of softness like, we're okay, functioning there's, on. There's, okay, wait. Definitely not, like, a Tempur-Pedic. Fuck that. What? I'm not into... Oh, <laughs> I'm in a Tempur-Pedic family. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't think you even are. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't even have ties to Tempur-Pedic. It's just, like, usually the top <laughs> pick. So I'm a little just stunned by that. It's the last pick for me. Oh, wow. The bottom of the barrel. Yeah, what like what are they? It's like firm, Dude, extra I firm. fucking hate a Tempur-Pedic pillow. Okay. Wow. I hate wow. that shit. No, it's and more I love like a, a soft firm. bed. Like, I want to I wanna be, I want to feel like I'm going to, oh, my God, I thought Presley was in the table. <laughs> yeah. um, I want to feel like I'm in feathers and a cloud. And uh, the pillow, I think, like, definitely needs to not be just like this, like, flimsy bullshit little thing, but. It's got to have something. I don't want to lay my head into it and make a sound. Yeah, you don't like a brain. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I got you. Like, like I poof. want it to be more like a poof. Not like <laughs> Tempur-Pedic pillows are just so like, Dude. and then you're waiting for it to sink. Oh, like, that is yeah. true. I'm okay. like, I hate, see, I hate laying down on really soft beds because then I constantly feel like I'm like falling, like just down, like deeper okay, and deeper. Sure, I agree with that. My like, bed is not like So wait, falling. are you a back or side sleeper? Side. Okay, hardcore. really? Like when I got my wisdom teeth out, worst week of my entire- Oh, wow. Worst week of my entire fucking life. Okay, that's crazy. I couldn't sleep on my side or I wasn't Dude, supposed to. I have to sleep like- See, like I can sleep like Dracula. Face down? Face down like this. <laughs> face I can, down, ass up. How do you sleep? sleep? I can sleep like Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> like, cross my arms and I'm just sound <laughs> in like 30 seconds i'm out like like a light oh, that's God. crazy like that i can't insane. even sleep like it if i'm, if I'm this I is what's crazy about me i can't even sleep if i'm not in my bed like i can't sleep in a car can't oh, sleep I, really can't, on I, can't, I can't sleep on a plane either. i can't sleep Nothing. outside of my house because i just feel too uncomfortable i can like, if i'm in like a movie theater i could be exhausted oh my god when I'm people like, like my dad Falls asleep anywhere, and I'm literally like, "Oh my like, god, no! Dude, yeah. how are you this comfortable right now?" If there's right other now? people around, I can't fall asleep. I'm always, absolutely the fuck not. Like oh. strangers, like I can I'm sleep always in, too like, afraid. A good friend like I don't know what you could do while I'm asleep. You're so vulnerable. Yeah, being asleep is the most vulnerable position no, you could be. It literally plane. is. Like, yeah. You can kill me, and I wouldn't yeah. know. I would, <laughs> I would have no so fucking idea. You just go from sleep to death. Yeah. There's like no <laughs> easy transition. Like, yeah, I think also us not wanting to or being able to sleep anywhere is because we don't really drink alcohol. That is true. Okay. People get really drunk and they fall asleep places yeah. all the fucking time. That and is true. The four of us don't really drink. Yeah. True. Well, I don't really drink. You guys don't drink. I will like have a beer or something once in a while. But a beer, uh, beer. I was gonna make the joke. Terrible. Give me a break. Yeah. But um, <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm like, drink, like, please. I can die happy please today. God. <laughs> um, but that's like a thing. Uh, Every no. most people most of the time when I see people passed out, I'm like, you're drunk. Yeah. 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 Sometimes I drunk assume. people look dead, and I'm like, oh are you God. asleep? Literally, dead. Dead like, to check on you. Do I call the police or bring you upstairs? <laughs> like, like, do I carry your <laughs> Yeah. Body. Even on a plane, like I'll have the nice seat where you can like lay fully down. Yeah. I don't feel comfortable falling asleep because I'm like, there's people there's passing too public. me. Like I don't know. And they're yeah. always scared of miss the drinks when they go by, and like, I need no. Notes. I'm more afraid of just like they're taking me from like my stop and they just never wake me up. No, I'm scared <laughs> of like, like I'm like, heading to the next place. Yeah. I'm scared I'm gonna like wake up and see a photo of me like like asleep like up on the down. internet. Yeah, what uh, as where I else? had that one. But, <laughs> yeah. Someone took a picture of me sleeping on a plane oh, once, and I was like, terrifying. Mm, really scary. Weird. Weirdos. Really, really scary. And I don't know why when you said you could sleep like Dracula, I pictured you like <laughs> upside <laughs> down <laughs> hanging by my feet. <laughs> <laughs> I had to bring that up because that's Literally why I was laughing. so funny. Like, my feet, like, <laughs> like, 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 <laughs> no. Oh my god. I just meant like 
Like literally <laughs> last night, I Chris just, slept like, in my room. Down. Chris literally slept <laughs> in my room. Chris slept in my room when I was like You're praying. Like, I'm Nick and he falls <laughs> from the ceiling. Was, like, Chris slept the in my room when I was just... praying. He didn't look at me because I was sleeping with my hands like completely flat to my thighs. <laughs> like I was like this. So I was like, if he looked at me, he's gonna think I was psychopath. Yeah. Oh my god, That's I could, dude, Sometimes I, it's I the most comfortable spot. I woke up both my arms behind my head like this, and they were both numb. And I was like, how did my I've hands go that. behind my head? No, like, the best is when you wake up with like lines, like pillow lines. Oh yes. my god. Yeah. That's yeah. the best. So you know to... you got a good one. Yeah, I, I love oh. how I wake up with my arms <laughs> numb, and I have to just like put it in a position <laughs> manually and wait. No, like, you know what's the worst when you wake minutes. up and try to make a fist? Oh, yeah. Have you done that? Yeah, today, I, actually, I do scary. the opposite. It I, literally scares the shit out of me. I do the opposite. <laughs> I stretch my fingers out. And you can't like, do it or you can do it. Uh, no, I like, usually... Like, try to make a fist first thing in the morning. It's like a scary experience. <laughs> I'm going to do that tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be like, whoa. Dude, I always just sit there and like go like this. Like, just put my hands like by my side. No, I've had... And I've like had, wait for I've the had feeling. I've had night sleeps where I woke up. Woke up. Where I woke up and deadass thought I was like, somebody tourniqueted my arm. Like in, in the sleep, I'm just like shaking it like this. Yeah, no, I mean, sometimes it's. I, I, I like, like shaking a wet I like noodle. lightly rub my fingers against each other till I gain. Okay, that's so I do. That's so he's like, weird. he wakes up, he's like, I'm like, literally like this. Like a little crab. Upside down. Dude, <laughs> yeah, like hanging I'm laughing the, the most because I, I sleep next to Nick like fairly <laughs> often. And the only giveaway that he's asleep sometime is like that he's snoring. <laughs> like you would think <laughs> yeah. he's like, dead. I look awake like all sometimes the time. I go engage him in conversation because <laughs> the way he looks, but he's just snoring, and I'm like, oh. Are, like what? And then sometimes another thing about oh. Nick is like even if he's not snoring, he'll just like deep breathe, like just like <laughs> like <laughs> when Nick. <laughs> We'll also tell Taco when, when I have headphones on. Oh my god! When Nick puts you headphones, you can fall asleep with headphones. No, <laughs> when Nick puts headphones on, he can't hear himself breathing. So he breathes, breathes like breathes ten so times loud. <laughs> oh my I'm like, accident. I'm like, dude, are you out of breath? Like, what's going on? And he's like, oh no, I just can't like hear how loud I am. It's such a strange thing. Like, I, I feel can't... like the way you breathe doesn't depend on how you can oh, hear no, it. No, like his. I, I thought <laughs> so. I literally thought that Nick's, too. Nick's like natural breath is just like way louder than anyone else. Oh, yeah, but you control it when you can hear it. Yeah, like I'm just like breathing loud when i can't hear it i never noticed <laughs> sometimes chris has to like check me for things that are normal for people he's like posture check and i'm like i'm like sitting like it. this there's like breathing check and i'm like oh, like i gotta be like well okay. sometimes but another thing is like i used to call nick double take for years because he'll say something out loud and then say it again with just his mouth like if i was like oh hey how are oh, you he- Oh my god! Like, like, yeah, like, like, it, like to himself, and I'm like, I know people I'm like, am I like hearing no, things? What's have you ever met on? someone who, like, when you're talking, they'll mouth what you're saying? Oh, oh my that, god, that's, that's so crazy. crazy! It's literally insane. I've met multiple people who do that before, and I'm just like, how do you know? I'd be afraid. I'm I feel like oh. I think they're like, taking notes. I'm like, what are you doing with? I would like, like look behind me. me to see if someone's like giving away what I'm <laughs> telling seriously? them. Seriously, like, what's like, going you on? Fucking genie was going on. That's so funny. Scary. Um, oh the, my god! The questions we're gonna be—we're gonna ask you all of them. But do you want to like yep. start one? You can like pull one from the hat. Do I pull one? Well, I hope like, she we were gonna. No, uh, der, our, what? I was gonna say I hope you don't pick ones that's are terrible. Mine. Yeah. So, I, I, okay. My handwriting's like terrible. My handwriting's also terrible. I was trying to like, like give like, you the glory hardly... of picking a question. I want to pick one. Yeah. If you can't read it, and just, I'll just pass ask it, on. it. Yeah. I'm sure I can read it. No. We'll see. I'm like not sure. Here's the reveal. No. You could have, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? Oh, nice. Yeah. This one is very readable. Who wrote nice. this? Nice. I did. I do. This would yes. be yeah. Yeah. Nice job. Um, I would, you know, I always said I would fly. That was just like, I, I think that I wished for the ability to fly for my first like 14 birthdays. Wow. 14. Oh my God. No joke. I actually think that I was like, I well, fly, you were ahead of me. I was I, like, I want to, it's a rain gumballs. <laughs> it's like, that was mine <laughs> for 14 years. Gumballs. Um, I think I wanted to fly for the longest time, and now I'm like, where the fuck would I even go? Uh, um, maybe now to be invisible. Uh, oh, that has yeah. like dark undertones to it, but yeah, yeah. I, I like I teleporting. Would it's like easier version of flying. I would easily sure. pick teleport. You could just like be there the door, because then I could go yes. home. Boom! Hi mom. Hi dad. Boom! Back but the, here. But the the flying is the best part. Like the, okay. Ooh, the experience, the actual act. Oh, of I flying. thought you meant like on a plane. I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. okay. I'm like I hate hold flying. On. I'm like, I you're unlike anyone I've ever hate met. Hate flying with a passion. Love. I would love to fly myself. Yes. Yes. You know? Like a bird. Yes. Yeah. Seems so fun. What bird would you be? I'd be a really annoying parrot. Ooh, okay. I'd want to yeah. just bother someone like all day. Yeah, I'd I have to be, be a parrot. I couldn't give up speaking. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, I, need, I, could still I talk. need to talk about yeah. things with you. It's that urgent. is true. That's so weird to me. I don't like that. That like a well, they just mimic talk. sounds. No, they got no clue what they're saying. You no, know they that, definitely right? no, they know. They, uh-huh. they know. they mimic sounds. 
Have you seen the they parrot definitely, that like screams well, for help? Well, parrot is like, like the word parroting is like it's like mimicking. Like, I just so. thought of something. Wow, crazy. that's crazy. Well, thing. I'm pretty sure I and saw I something that where a parrot like snitches on somebody. Yes, like he's like, oh no, look at they, oh, they, they, no, they overheard something. No, because I saw the craziest the guy parrot. the guy was yeah. screaming help and then they no no the craziest there. thing this guy like. He like it was crazy like a murder scene and there was a parrot there and like the parrot was repeating what the guy was like yelling at his wife or something before he killed her and like the parrot repeating what the guy was saying was like a legit the thing. The word parrot is literally it means repeat. Yeah, Did like they just that? say that. So crazy. Like you know when people yeah yeah. Oh my god, imagine being called a repeat. Like oh this is my repeat like a parrot like that's crazy. Oh but... that's kind of smart. Yeah. We <laughs> should get a parrot and name it repeat. Oh my god. Or, That'd be cool. or Pete. Oh wow! <laughs> That's crazy. Awesome. Okay. Guys, I'm gonna pee myself. I don't want to do a Chris did, but I'm gonna. Oh pee my god! You, you guys, really you guys, go with, you guys can go without me. I don't. Do you ever have to? Do you want to pull? Sorry, it's a problem. I like can go hours without no, peeing. No, I. I oh always, my god, buddy! Oh, Presley's don't going. break the stairs. Kids stomping, dude. I always have to pee. Like if I have like if I'm like in I my hydration ever. mode and I'm like drinking hydration a lot of water. Mode, I think that's good. I think something's wrong with me. Like I don't. If you told me you can't pee, for five more hours i'd probably be like okay that's why that is crazy yes yeah, it's probably wrong with me I even like drinking like one full water bottle i'm scared to even like drive home sometimes because i'm like oh i'm gonna pee like on yeah the that's ride. like not part like, of I'm my like, life I experience to, i have to empty the tank before i no. hit the road i'm like oh, what, you want to drive to vegas definitely don't no need to way. pee beforehand that's crazy that's insane. i know oh nick also wrote this one good my Being handwriting's lucky. so bad if you had a fully iced out chain what would the design be great question you know, that is a great question. I think it would be Presley. That's sick. It would be Pres okay. It would be Presley in one chain and then R. I. P. Bowie on the other one mm. in big fucking letters. That's so sad. That I makes know. you so sad. So sad. I was literally getting up upset about it on the way here. Yeah. Just, just a, keep like picking. a two year old dog. Is so literally, sad. Literally I'm like, I want to do every single one. Nick, what would your ice out chain be? Bowl. My ice out chain? Yeah. That's the one I answered. I said R. I. P. Bowie and oh. Presley. Um, I honestly don't know. I'm not like a chain guy. I literally, I made this the other day. It's literally just an N. You know, you could get that at Target for like $5. Yeah, I made it myself for probably more money. Yeah. but Definitely for more money. Yeah. Good for you though. That's yeah, nice. thank you. So yep. what about a big N, I guess? Big, huge one. <laughs> <love. laughs> yeah, it's so boring though. Like a huge N. If you were forced to give one of us three a verse on one of your songs, who would you pick? This is a good question. You I could that. really. That was. I think that was me. Yeah, Chris wrote it. Yeah, I didn't I wrote write it. any of them. My handwriting is so. No, your handwriting's not trash. bad. There's just a few like um, wrong spell I words. I also No, it. like you. I like like that is crazy a little. Oh yeah, the U is a little. I'd be wild. going. I know you. Oh yeah, it looks go like a Y W. I think that Nick would one. probably be the best yeah. choice. Yeah. <laughs> But I don't know. No, I definitely can't sing or anything. So yeah, See, I have no I singing ability. Best... But for no, you, I think you would you would pull through for me. I'd just have confidence. Absolutely. Well, actually, and I, I wouldn't. would instill that confidence. I'd in have you. like fake confidence. Can you yeah. pick one? I'm not picking. No, I got you. You guys heard it here. Next album. All right. Buddy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Totally kidding. The totally only kidding. feature on the album. Yes. If you had to pick one pair of shoes for the rest of your life, and you can't, that you have to like match with everything, can't pick any others. What are you going with? Okay. That's insane. Um, oh, Nick. I think Uggs was my like instinctual answer, but that really was, good answer. But that feels also crazy in because the summer like, too. All the time is a little. What if you could wild. pick a brand? Because I feel like Uggs has like slippers. Yeah, they do, and I when I wear the fuck out of those as well. But I think maybe uh, I think I wear my Uggs the most out of any other mm -hmm. shoes. Mm -hmm. Um, and then maybe I would say. I'm definitely into like sambas currently, but I think the most consistent shoe in my life has been a Converse. Mm -hmm. Just a high See, top I black Converse. That. I don't yep. like Converse. I my least favorite shoe is Vans. I've never. I think I wore Vans for like three weeks when I first moved to LA and was like skateboarding using yeah. penny boards. I had a and then crazy I was like, no Vans phase. Big time. People go through big, big, big every Vans color. Phase. I never did. They matched my hoodies. Everything. It was I went through a short little one when I was like fifteen. Oh my god, one time, this was <laughs> terrible. This just invoked like a terrible story from my brain. I remember I was getting dropped off at school for some reason. I was alone and I was freezing out and I didn't bring a hoodie and I was wearing already like checkered vans and checkered shorts and I had a black <laughs> t shirt and my mom was like, Oh, like this is the only hoodie and she gave it to me and I saw there was a design on it and I was like, Okay, this is good. 
I put it on and the sleeves were also checkered. Oh my and god! And then I put it on. And I, I would stayed run in from it all you day. Yeah, I was like yeah. just like this checkered beast <laughs> walking the halls. Literally dart the like, other way. Yeah, I was like, I'll lay down. You guys can play chess. I remember <laughs> an even a worse fit that you had. <laughs> and we're gonna <laughs> move on. Like, I'm gonna pull the next. It thing was so that. bad. Yeah, there was a lot of questionable phases. I've been there, and I'm literally all of mine are on the internet. So at Ooh, least dude. that's scary. Yep. That's why I'm happy. Our like. See, I, I still know. have no fashion, so I don't like talking about things like this. No, same, I still have like, like zero. Me and, by the way, for the viewers at home, Chris and I are matching today. We are. Literally. Oh, we had walked in and I had the same fit on. Same fucking fit. Except shoes. But we're both wearing white shoes. Kind of counts. True. I have sandals on because I'm in my house. I would also have I probably would have had like Air house. Forces or like Tim's on. That's like my go-to. Like if I had to pick. I like pick, that you rock Tim's. Dude, I would pick Tim's like for sure. Like if I could only have one for those. I That's crazy. Wore it's uh, yeah. I, I love Tim. Face. Imagine pulling up at the beach though in Tim's. I don't so like that's the beach. That's something he would do, I don't though. like the beach. I don't like, like the beach. I don't like sand. All I don't like me. sand. <laughs> I hate it. Sorry, I'm like <laughs> no, no. no. I like, literally I like would it. so much rather be at a pool. Than oh yes. my god! Yes, Thank yes, you, Jesus. Yes. I don't like. Me. Well, also because it's too cold in the ocean. I'm just like enjoyable. But I love the ocean as a place yes, without me yes, in it to yes. look at it to look at it like uh, i love anything david attenborough i love to watch like an ocean docu- like the documentaries that are narrated oh, yeah, yeah, okay. like whatever about oh, like, these ocean creatures you know what i mean oh yes, my gosh yes, yeah. yeah those are love great it, love so it. i love those but going in the ocean is sometimes scary it's it's nice but i well, would always like, prefer a, a pool. pool you can select the temperature ideally yeah you know there's no creatures in there but i've had some i will say see this is me this is like my left right brain arguing with themselves i would like <laughs> have had some magical moments in the ocean me too like i went to hawaii snorkeled yes you gotta Same. go to a good that's beach that's what i did that's I, like a great dude, that was an amazing beach, beach. it was you know like I mean? so cool because I, w- I was literally about to bring that up like i hate going to the beach and i feel like like when you're swimming at the beach and then like it's like the walk of shame back to like the umbrella of the group uh, and like you got sand all over you and mm-hmm. stuff but when we were just last, trying, like, to, keep her, like, trying to keep your towel. No, like, yeah. like, <laughs> we were last when we were last in Hawaii. Our friend Nathan wanted the snorkel so bad, and and nobody else wanted to. And I was like, okay, I'll give it a no, shot, even though fun. I didn't want to. And then we went on the boat, and I was like, I'm so happy that I said yes to it's doing this. It's so fun. The like, water's so clear. Yeah, like see, it's I can see like 200 feet. And it's down. also not as like polluted, I guess, in my mm-hmm. head because I feel like LA beaches are yeah. Pretty well, even, like, see, I want to be where there's more snacks. If I'm going to someone's <laughs> pool and they got snacks, I'm there. <laughs> right. If I'm going to the beaches, they're like a fried they dough. They were serving oh, sandwiches like, and I can do soda that. on I get the that. boat that drove us to snorkel. See, I'd, like, that yeah, the wherever the snacks are, I'm at. Yep. I'm, I, <laughs> I, I it. back that. <laughs> yeah, really good answer. Yep. Um, If you were in the zombie apocalypse, what would be your go-to weapon of choice? You'd be a great, like, character for, like, a zombie apocalypse movie. Would I? Yeah, because you just have, like, What's that, What's my like... character arc? Like, no, like, I? it's just, like, you'd be Did able to just, Did you watch The Last like... of Us? No. Whoa. I've watched Our friend episodes. Maddie loves You didn't that like show. it? I just... I think First we went was just, home. like, so, like, falling asleep. Like, what? let's get to the point. First episode? No. No, second episode, The sorry. first episode oh. is, like, episode. one of the best yeah. first episodes of a show ever. No, first episode was good. Second yeah, yeah. one, I was like, well, that's usually how we get to the point? I like the then... POV shit in the first episode, like, the, the camera angles. Well, you know, it's angles. all based on, like, a video game. Yes. So fire. So sick. And yeah. it's, like, so cool. shot by shot. It's so cool. That is, yeah. so that is crazy. My so mom, cool. actually, when I was getting a PlayStation, this was, like, back before we played video games and stuff, there was a PlayStation bundle with Last of Us in it. And she didn't let me get it because it was like a rated R game. It's at scary. Time. Like the show is honestly scary, but it's and I, I was really younger. Good. I, I liked it. I'm actually but gonna watch that. What was the question? If you're Who in the zombie apoc- apocalypse, oh, weapon. your weapon of choice. So there's an episode in the Last of Us about you know these people who build like a very intense structure around their house and like it's mm. just zombie proof as fuck. Like no one can get in. Whatever. Um. So. Weapon, like I feel like I would spend my time. I feel like you gotta be a close range baddie though, like Ninja Stars, Nunchuck. Oh fuck yeah! Yeah, like I'd I could love see to you throw like, some Ninja ooh, stars. Like, a, yeah. I have a video where I throw a Ninja Star huh? in it. I can show it to you. Oh my god! See so you guys, cool. like I or maybe they got a flamethrower sounds. Oh, fire. oh, oh my god! Right, like, get, you gotta get the brain though. In a flamethrower, you're really just burning. Like, I can just burn. Shell. Yeah, you're right. You gotta. It needs to be like a projectile. Now nah, you need like a map or you could just have both. Like you could have here. a flamethrower and a yeah, stick, like kind a spear, of. and then just like jab him in the head after. Yeah, I like don't know. Like a flamethrower with a knife on the end. I don't know. I'm not good with weapons. I just realized I was staring directly into that camera. <laughs> <laughs> not me to do that. I was You're like, thinking. 
Yeah, there's not really like there's not many conversations in our day to day life that revolve around weaponry. So yeah, I don't it's completely really valid. Yeah, I don't I really have an answer them. here. See, but yeah, I would ninja star sounds good. One that's like not like a gun. That's lame. Like I'd want like a bow and arrow or yeah, like, you would. Word. You yeah, would. something like. I was just talking yesterday about how I loved archery and camp. I used to play. I used to play. I used to do archery when I, I was like it younger. It was so fun. I loved yeah, a lot of fun. Years of I just go to like lessons in the sky's backyard. We should find somewhere in LA and we should do that. I'm so down. Do you guys like escape rooms? Oh gosh! Get, oh, here we go. Oh, escape rooms are our thing. Yes. Are they like, really? weekly? Are yeah. there any open? Here's right the, now? There's so <laughs> Here's many. the thing, though. This is me. Like the ones go. that are open right now are the ones open anywhere in like the 20 mile radius. We've probably done. We've we done are a escape lot. room. Fiends. I think we've done like so in the I. past like four mm. to five months. I, I feel think so we've done about right like yeah. <laughs> probably like 20. People think I'm like my friends. If I even utter the words escape room, they're like, "You are so fucking weird." What? I know I'm hanging out with the wrong people. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I know. Weird. We would easily have also a though. Guys, to go back. I'm gonna take you up on this and like bother you about Dude, this. Dude, oh, no, no, fucking love this. Really or do you guys like use the hint? Oh, we, I we would try, try not, not to. to. But you do use it. Yes. Okay, okay, same, same. Yeah. But I'm not, I try. I'm like, let's push it until we are yes. stumped. I'm yes. not, yes. I'm not yes. doing any live actor shit. You, oh, fuck yeah. no. I'm going to say, you're going to find <laughs> a new group not. of people. Absolutely not. I am not <laughs> going to no, like haunted hotel no, bullshit no, that I have to no, open crazy. the door and someone's Cutting like, your hair off. That's the McKamey Manor. Don't talk to me about that. Yeah, I know no. everything about that. That's terrifying. That Insane. Or they're just like. That was not an escape room. That was literally just a man who wanted to like torture people. Yeah, I want to see somebody like do that, like try to do that one with like a GoPro. Is that like a thing? Are you talking about McKay? I think it's called McKamey Man- yes. Manor. That is, place is it fully is- filmed? Like, there's like somebody yeah, doing no, a run fully have filmed. People and I think that they like never can even get out because they, um, one person completed it and he made up like a reason why he couldn't pay them because I think it's like ten thousand dollars if you complete it. Yeah, and he like, get, made like, up a, a whole check. reason. He was like, oh yeah, he shaved the guy's head, like waterboarded him. Like it's like, it's insane. It's, it's not, like I'd voluntarily fight back. I've watched torturing. a lot of videos. I'd about fight it. back crazy like they'd oh, need, no, they'd they'd be needing swing. to get rid of me in like 30 seconds yeah, yeah, it's yeah. open We're in tennessee oh my god and it's 1.6 stars tennessee yeah 1.6 stars <laughs> 1. yeah. 1. um, star but songs. anyway no mckinney manor but let's definitely do an escape room. i'm so down and i'm down to do like a scary themed escape room okay. but not with people or yes. things that pop yes. out and i don't like going with people i don't know what's like, like the I'm most trying... jaw-dropping it's a escape team building room experience activity. you've had because i know mine oh my god um so there was one that was like Zodiac Killer themed, I think, which honestly now that's like it's kind of fucked up that they do like escape rooms yeah. off of real things. But um, it was like Zodiac Killer themed. And I remember there was a part where one of my friends like we opened a bunch of stuff and then there was this box that was in the corner of the room the whole time that like you couldn't open. You couldn't do anything to whatever. But you could tell like, you know, when you like lift it, and you're like this. Oh, opens. Yeah, it's going to get there. It like, gets the click. You hear the click. Yeah, and, like, yeah. This opens at some point, but we're not there yet. It like open and you can see like you if you popped your head and you just see it it's like a it looked almost coffin like and it was long and it was in the wall and we didn't realize there was like a whole other end of it we were like oh my goodness and so then it said on a screen or something it was like like enter and shut oh, behind yeah. you or something but one person had to go in alone and you couldn't see anything you couldn't see like the other side of it we had no idea and I'm my getting, friend went in I'm it. getting PTSD. My friend went in it and the thing, like the the wall dropped down and he just started screaming and we all have no idea what's going on. And then he had to end up doing like uh, his whole own 10 minute long puzzle to like uh, open the other uh, door. He said, did this happen to you guys no, as well? No, I'm just oh, saying something, something oh, similar. Oh, 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 no, like right. it was fucking crazy. And then when we ended up going in there, it was this crazy just like, you know when you obviously have the ones that break down the other like rooms and you enter and enter? Like yeah. you're kind of expecting the same theme or whatever. It was like a totally different, different. thing and it was so fucking cool. And it that's was just so sick. sick. It just like look the set design was really cool. It was just like a very cool That is crazy. crazy. That's and we ended up seeing it with like four seconds left. That's crazy. Oh and my it was God. like very intense the last few that's minutes. That's insane. It was crazy. That's wild. We did one with I would never that, go in there. We did one with us three and um two of our other friends and we were it was like an alien thing and and so there was like, oh, you got to get in this one person has to get in this spaceship. And then everyone that we're with looks at me and they're like, well, Matt's doing Matt's up to that weird shit. You know what I mean? Like, so I was like, okay. fearless. Man. I was like, OK, looks like we're going to have to. So I go in there, shut the door. And then it, the whole thing just shakes for like 30 seconds. And I'm like, OK. And then I'm expecting the other door to open back up. And it's uh-huh. just going to be like a little thing. But the wall in front of me opened up and then it's just a black hallway. And then I see like glow in the dark, like alien footprints. Like imagine like little threes, like this. <laughs> on the floor. Well, literally what like, I was about like, literally yeah. on the floor, like this, and like glow in the exactly like, what I was like glow in the dark. And that's all you can see. But there's like black walls and everything. 
So I had to start walking and following the pattern of these glow in the dark footprints in the room that they're in. Yeah, it showed us like a screen of like Matt walking through this hallway getting but chased it, by people with like guns. guns and, like, yeah, shit. Like, we start here like, and, and, and then like, I'm walking, like, and he's just I'm casually. walking, I'm walking through this. And there's like three different turns that I had to take, okay. but I'm in the dark, so like I don't know where no the idea wall. Where you I'm are. just looking down, following the footprints, and like I get to the first turn, and then I start hearing like the gunshots and everything. But there's no one there. They just played like the people there for them to uh -huh. see. But I just had get like the speakers of gunshots behind <laughs> me, so I had to I wild. had to run through and then go to a different room and then like open a latch to get back with them. And that oh same room, we, the same room we did, the room we started in, like we went. Like, the room we started in was here, and there was, like, a door here. You go through the door, and then you have to go through that same door again, but it was, like, totally completely different, different room. room. Like, the room itself, like, moved. I love when it they're, was like, pretty insane. really elaborate. Like, I yeah. want to go to, like, someone that spent a lot of money on their escape. No, yeah, room, like, I want Like, my last tour, and I honestly might still do this, who knows, I want to do, like, pop-up escape rooms in cities and that have them be, so like, themed sick. with my tour, and each room is, like, a different song Oh, my God. That, that would be, be so cool. insane. No one stole my idea. No, but I really so want to do that. Yeah, I wouldn't idea. even let that stay in. I would just yeah, I, I really want to do that. So yeah, that would be so it seems sick. so fucking fun to me. I love escape rooms. But I, I hate when you go to one that's just so lame. Yeah. 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 No, we went You're to an like, escape room once that was shit? so <laughs> awful because it was like the technology just wasn't updated. So it was like you would do we were the, doing like, the thing right, right and we knew we were oh, doing it right, but it wouldn't like trigger the Oh yeah, you gotta like do it a certain way. Try again. Yeah. You're like, so we got the puzzle right, your machine just doesn't work. Oh my god. Like whatever I whatever we asked for a hint and there and it's something we were trying to do, but like it didn't work. Oh, I hate that. We just don't we just don't count it. Like, oh, we didn't get a hint. Because it like you were like already there. Yeah. If it's yeah. like put this thing like here and it opens the thing and we were trying it and it didn't work, then yeah. they like, told us to do oh it. Oh my god! Like, I gotta I say, agree. doesn't That's count. Fair. I gotta say one more thing and then we can move on from the escape room. No, topic. I'm happy to continue talking. About so, it. <laughs> we were doing this one and we if to go to one room or another, you had to like teleport or some shit. So you had to get the time crystal. So, oh my god! So I'm into it. So Chris, so Chris gets the time crystal. And How else would you fucking tell <laughs> yeah, like, like, Chris gets the time crystal, and we get like all these other ones, and we put them on the wall where they gotta go. Blah blah blah. This is nah. no that you got it wrong. The time crystal wasn't needed in that exact moment, and there were numerous time crystals. Yes. So I put one of them in my pocket, and then okay. I was like, okay, now I have the time crystal. So we were like, like okay, if we need that time crystal, future we got reasons. It. So then we're leaving. Open the car, get in the car, start driving away. Still had the time Chris crystal goes, in my pocket. I have the time crystal. No, we were like driving for like- <laughs> well, you're going to need that like at some point. <laughs> Literally. And I literally go, guys, I have the time, time crystal. crystal. And they thought that I was like fucking around, like <laughs> That's making amazing. a joke about the escape it's just, room. It's really but weird I seeing an escape room prop out of an escape room. Yeah. I was like, yeah. oh my God. I, <laughs> like, like, like I was holding the time crystal in so the car. So then we drove That's back and then it was closed because we were like the last room of the night. I like, I like propped it up on the doorknob. Yeah, we just put it on the door. Hopefully they got their time crystal. Yeah, when the lady left, I was hoping it like- fell over and that's then she'd find it amazing but yeah we I took the time the crystal room. i stole it i, I should have kept it i was thinking something else that was crazy but completely left my brain so bummer I'm gonna pick another thing from the hat let's see pinky toes gone or pinky fingers gone <laughs> don't you, you like need to use your pinky toe to walk i've heard it's just helping balance but you don't need it i think you'd trip then a lot i would more. get rid of the toe i agree it's I like agree. barely there anyways <laughs> it's so tiny i don't know but like so get out of there. Phone, like look i can hold this under. cup with no pinky <laughs> See, when i feel like I hold the pinky my phone, is like what's doing the i don't know i just feel like your hands are way more like like i always have that shit out i feel like if i didn't have See, one it would this is how i hold my phone all the time i don't know I'm always yeah, like this. Yeah, you know, we all have like little like dips in our pinkies. Yeah, so like I feel like humans are gonna evolve. Oh my with, god, like, if I had little, to hold my phone like, like crooked this, pinkies, they shit. literally will. Look, we all have no, a bump. If you look don't. at like our parents, oh my god! If you look at our parents' <laughs> pinkies, they oh, don't have that. We're addicts. I'm dead serious. Oh my god, that's yours scary. is like the least bad. Look at mine. Yeah, you had a big dip. Holy mine shit. is like I've been in there. <laughs> that is crazy. No, but well, when you really you have more experience mm -hmm. on a phone, you're older than us. I know. We'll I'm catch up. Fucking ancient. Well, actually, I don't know. Smartphones were invented not that long ago. I was holding a BlackBerry. I had all of them. Oh, oh yeah. No. You had all your things. Do you held a BlackBerry with your pinky like that? No. You were sliding up. Had to, right? Oh, yeah. I don't think I was holding on my pinkies. Who I knows? miss those things. Maybe you were just balancing wood on your pinky or something. What? Just all the time. I don't know. My my spare time. I was trying to give you an excuse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This will be needed one day. <laughs> yeah. This ledge. It was preparing Start training, the divot yeah. for the first smartphone. <laughs> first iPhone. I couldn't invent the iPhone, but I could invent the, the pinky. Yeah. Fucking pinky. Yeah. I, the... Fuck. I was like, I feel something coming that's going to need yes, this. That I'll need to train my pinky for. Uh, if you could permanently ban one snack from your home, what would it be? Just indefinitely gone. 
holy shit, I need to, I need a minute. It's mayo snack. <laughs> mayo I'm snack. banning mayo. Yeah, it's gotta be something you either banning mayo. Yes, it's gotta be something you either like hate, or something that you love but you like feel like you eat too frequently. No, that like, I would never do. It. It's something that I have to really like not enjoy. Like someone oh else brings God. it into your home and you're like, get that out of here. Fuck, that's so difficult. Hold on, I, my brain needs. Yeah, that's to a particular question. No, but I love it. I love it because I'm like, this is good. Um, Mine would be purple Doritos. What? They but just smell so fucking dude, gross. And my like, friend brought a box of those over to my house, and I had them for a year and a half because no one ate them. Yes, yeah, they just sat nasty. there. They just they're sat fucking there. gross. Like the purple Doritos are the worst ones by far. Oh, there's definitely things that I. Next time, mayo is not one of them. I'll have you mayo like in the mayo. Fridge. I like like a literal drop of mayo Thin on like. Layer. Uh, like I wouldn't even go that far. I was gonna say like, yeah. more of like a thing. drop, mm. and then I was gonna a, say like, just a spread. It's like egg. I was gonna say just for moisture. And I like eggs. But <laughs> I, it is. It is kind of. Yeah. Um. Ugh, wait, gross. I need to answer that because I really, I definitely have one of my brains just not working in this. I feel moment. like it's not gonna happen until someone brings something, and then you're just like gonna be like think back That's to this it. moment. Should send you a picture. <laughs> oh my goodness. Maybe it's like a drink. Well, we we got really into sodas. When we talked, there's no. I love. Yeah, we soda. drank all of your Dr. Peppers. Yeah, day, I'm glad so they're getting. No one really goes for those. Yeah. I'm glad that they finally were. Shit, I'll go for them every time. <laughs> yeah, literally. Oh, I'm trying. Okay, I'm trying to think of if there's like a drink that I'm like, ew, no. There's really not. What about? I I'm not that picky. I was gonna say kelp juice, but that's from SpongeBob. Bro, what okay, bro, you're weird. I thought, I thought, <laughs> like, hold on, <laughs> like, what are we thinking of here? Okay, I thought bro, it was real life. It's so good. I don't um, know. I'll I'll think about it, and it's gonna hit me really randomly. All right, I'll move on. Here, I actually passed the hat. I've asked like so Wait, many. Wait, what would row. yours be? Because I maybe this will um, help me. We have so many of these. Holy shit! I'm having a great time. Okay, good. Um, ketchup gone. Never again. No, I like ketchup. See ketchup out the door. You are a serial killer. Yeah, I, I love I hate ketchup. ketchup as well. I'd say that is fucking gone. insane. So you guys don't have like the same taste. No, no, mm-hmm. no not even like me and Matt most similar. Yeah, Nick likes like ketchup. Are you picky? Nick will have, like, Who's I'm the not pickiest? Matt. Yeah, I'd say guess that I'm about more you. Matt. Picky that's crazy. I'll try like I'll try like everything. Okay, I'd, I yeah, I love that. I'd Great. say Chris. I'm more you picky than Chris, things. but I like more. I'll things. try things. Yeah, just all like will you after. not eat sushi? No, I, I like sushi a little bit more. Dude, I can't think of an answer yet either. I'll I know get back it's, it's kind of hard. Okay. Purple Doritos and mayo. I came up with two. Yeah, purple Doritos good is good. Yeah, purple Doritos so is great. Actually. Like purple Doritos is. Nasty. You guys are crazy. I would say like thin crust. Oh, or thin thin. Um, mine might, might be pickles. I don't like pickles. Oh, gross. You love pickles? I'm not a lover, but I like them here and there. <laughs> not a lover, I'll but snack I, like on a pickle. I would say thin Oreos. Like grow up, dude. Get I thick. Get double stuff. Exactly. Get out of here. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> get out of here with the yeah. thin. Bullshit. Oh my god, that's one of my favorite moments of <laughs> yours is milk favorite cookie. Yes. <laughs> that's, oh my god, that's just I literally that. like I. Oh. I think that was the moment actually because when yeah, you just said that, fun. that's all I think of. That's Anytime so funny. Anytime someone says Oreo around me, I literally go milk favorite cookie. <laughs> I literally forgot that was a thing. <laughs> that, you just said that. Oh my god, I'm getting like hot right now because that was so like a, that was like a moment uh, in time for me. Yeah, I watched that come out of your mouth and I was like. How have I dude, never met these people? That's really amazing, I feel dude. so connected. We have to watch that because I don't remember. I, like, at all. Yeah, I, I felt like either. spiritually connected to you guys. Oh that's my god, that's I was like, awesome. I, that is so funny. Most favorite cookie. I remember we were talking about Oreos. <laughs> it was so random. It wasn't it like their hundredth birthday or something? Like Oreos? No, was, like, no one was talking was, like, about so Oreos. No, you, you just grab them out of the back seat and you peel the oh, thing yeah, and said, nowhere. Most favorite cookie. He literally a different I conversation. I thought it was like a prominent on. slogan to like advertise <laughs> I Oreos. Like, that. I just I've seen on the package once, like probably seven years ago. Like how the fuck do you remember that? That's what I was impressed by. I think was that it was like a niche reference. Yeah, I just love Most favorite cookie. Oh, amazing. Like um like I'm loving it at McDonald's. It's like no. Nah, yeah, everyone, everyone knows that. Here, yeah. yeah, milk favorite cookie. Milk favorite cookie is just classic. It was amazing. Oh my god, that's Props hilarious. Props to you for that one. Thank you. If you could live on any planet in outer space, just based off of the vibe of it, where would you go? Like they're all Venus habitable. Venus or Saturn? Mm. I'd pick Saturn because I can sit on the rings. It you looks know? the sickest. I would yeah. pick Mars just because I feel like it's the most habitable. Like in the right, thinking bro. too like, yeah, like serious. I, yeah, they're all so habitable for in this. <laughs> Sentence. They're all habitable. No all one's picking planet, Uranus. No, no one's one. picking Pluto. No one's picking, I'm picking Pluto. Pluto. I honestly, I, I, I was about to the say that. I, I was waiting for like a break. Yeah, I'm silent. Well, it's considered not a planet. 
it, unless we train. See, like, we love Pluto, though. I, I love feel sad Pluto. For me too. Is the, the moon's not a planet, but I'd go there, too. Mm. All right. Yeah, dude. it doesn't Seems count. boring to me. Yeah. yeah, we can still see that thing. What about the sun? You can I want to be out of the outer vision. Yeah. Yeah. Get me out of here. Literally. Mm. If you had to get a face tattoo, what would it be? Had to. And where on the face? Like, you know, here, here. I would get... I don't know exactly what I would get, but I think I would get something like in this vicinity uh -huh. or like on either side, like some somewhere down here. And I'd probably just do something like, I don't know. Like a heart or something. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you got to go simple on the face. You I can't forget. Like it has a... to be like a little symbol of some sort. S something crazy. I'm going to actually yeah. get you your like face wire? over mine. <laughs> like, <laughs> I think that would look amazing on you. you. Look I saw really this, this lady got Drake on her forehead. Spelled Drake. out. Drake. Yes. <laughs> That's insane. I Bold. should get Matt, Evil art. Matt and Chris. That's hard. That would make yeah. sense for you. I should get Nick and put like an arrow like so they know you are Nick. Mm. No. Nick, see, I have no idea what I'd get. Yeah, it's kind of hard. No it's a idea. hard question. It's a very hard question. But if someone was like, I have a tattoo gun, and it's either you die or you get a face tat, I'm going to think of something. You should yeah. get a little, I would do like, like a little hard, a little, little cross. like uh, pitcher of beer, like bubbling over. All right, like, buddy. Yeah, here we no, go. Thank you. Like, like, terrible joke. I'm good on that one. I'm just dead serious for the night, Nick. It's crazy that I'm dead serious. But we can move on. It's like terrible joke. I'm like, I'm 100% for real. Yeah. Wait, Nick, I have one. Sorry. No, you're good. Do you think it's possible to cry underwater? Yeah. I'd strongly oh, disagree. Like, you were confident. Well, I mean, like, you can be crying underwater, but, like, no, tears won't be, like, I feel flowing. like the second yeah. I jumped in the water, if I was crying, it just canceled. Yeah, my the eyes tears. would stop. But you're meaning more of in, like, a physical sense. I'm meaning in, like, a... True. Emotionally. Like, you could still... Be, like, let's say I jumped... I was crying, I jumped in the water, I came back up, I'm still crying... But would the crying the stop underneath? The tears would be gone. No, like I could, I could still be crying underwater. I definitely think I've had full submersion in the oh bath, my God. crying. Before. No way, picture really? Picture that, yeah, definitely. Full submersion, just underwater, <laughs> underwater. In the bath, I'm picturing crying. it. Underwater, on. just crying. Yeah, I've that's impressive. I've definitely done that. I don't know. That was why my answer was so quick because I've yeah. proved it. Wow, right? Yeah, like you test, I tested this not I've, that long ago. Yeah, yeah like right. We were fully. Fully submerged, or what'd you say? Fully yeah. submerged. Submerged. In. You said submerged, submerged in. Was it two words or were you? Submersion. <laughs> I think it's a word. <laughs> I think submersion I'm is absolutely definitely here for Hold it. on a second. Submersion. It's like the action of submerging. Submersion has to be a word. Yeah, don't, no, don't no, you're that. absolutely I right. It, I used it differently than you did. You said complete submersion. Yeah. Submersion. Submersion. It's submersion. One word. Okay. It's yeah. a, it's I thought you were saying submerged. In. in that also would make <laughs> sense. Also Not correct. far off. <laughs> um, if you were a transformer, what like car or mode of transportation would you turn into? Like you could be like a plane or helicopter too. Like those are on. I'd be a monster truck. Wow, love Great that answer. answer. What yeah. color? I'm saying like. Like, do you have the flames on the side? No, you... no. I think if I had flames on the side, like it would be cool. I think I'd be like like yellow and like maybe blue or something i love like, it yeah mm -hmm. I, don't know. I love that's it that's what i'm seeing for myself okay i think that's i do like answer. that Big i want to be an all black car somehow but then when i'm actually transformed i'm like not black at all so like i'm like, i want to be like super colorful and like mm. like i want to be like a rainbow, rainbow. transformer okay. but then when i become a car it's kind of like a you're camo. incognito yes. Ooh, okay. okay like matte black car rainbow transformer that sounds beautiful. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Like, that sounds like you're a transformer like... in the closet, but <laughs> no, it's <laughs> like, not. He's like rainbow when he's alone, but <laughs> no, he's he not. Oh my god. Because he's actually Matt Black alone. When he transforms, he's the bigger thing and around everybody and like saving the city. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's so is awesome. it like tie dye or is it just like? No, it's more of like a um um a, like. Do you know when you like the oil spill thing? Like oh the, yeah, I got like you. That good. Type of That's thing. it. You know what I mean? All I needed. Got it. Yeah. You know what I mean, right? Of course. Okay, yeah. That's I'm what I was envisioning. Yeah. yeah. It's like when you spill bubbles on the ground and it like kind of mm. has that reflection. You can have a solid like MB on yours too. I, I'll take that all day. Yeah. There we go. I'm just I'm just saying your initials to you. I don't know why I'm doing this. Great, Nick. What would you be? I feel like Nick would be like a scooter. Like no, a he'd be like, like I'd be a full-on train. A bird scooter. Like I transform, I transform <laughs> onto the track and start going immediately. You're the track insane. just goes in front of you. Like yeah, like I'd least. have to be. See, if I was a what transformer, what was that from? Shark Boy and Lava Girl wasn't really? there like a, a train that like 
was through the sky and it would like the tracks would like go oh, in front of itself. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah, or like yeah. Inside Out, maybe? No. no. Definitely not Inside no, no, Out. No, no, it could be, it could be no. um, Sky High, maybe. I love sky fucking love that <laughs> Oh my God, that would be so good. Could be Sky High. It's but, not because it's not because we just watched that recently. Yeah, they drive a bus. It's amazing. They just drive a bus with wings. They Remember? do drive a bus, but with yeah, because the bus drivers like and it just goes up. Like I it, think there's that no then track. there's a train in Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Then Probably. I think you're right. right. But I, I'd have right. to be a it's train. It's more like a mine cart rather than a train. I believe. Same thing. Nope. Just same thing. <laughs> nope. They're just on the track. I'm go- I'm googling. See, I think it's literally called. It's the train of thought. Oh, oh, get fucked. Get literally fucked. That would make a lot of sense. Get literally <laughs> fucked. I'd have to be a train because, like, if I was anything else, I'd drive over everything or fly over everything. Like, I'd need to be limited to oh, tracks. Oh, it's a whole ass train. You know? Sorry, baby. It's a whole train? train? Yes. It's yeah, I tra- thought it was like a mine cart. Like, yeah, little, I remember like, in it, like, it's like chugging. Like, it's chug, like chug, chug, chug. Yeah, it's got the smoke blown out of the top. I don't think I've ever said out loud that a train is chugging. Ever before. See? Okay. It's a okay, yeah, it's remember the sea? Yes. I remember I used to Google stuff when we filmed our I hate to car hear videos, it chugging. like all the time. And then Nick and Matt made fun of me for Googling it no, like, I have, all the time. No, because everything I say, I think is you, um, like You have to false. make sure. Our mm. memories are extremely unreliable. So I mm-hmm. always think that everything I remember is not Yeah, like accurate. I thought it was a mine cart. Mandela don't was wrong. Mandela, don't get me started. We filmed so many Mandela Effect videos in our days. Literally one. Really? No, literally one. Done. Well, we filmed more than they don't get posted. But I feel like we have like three or four. That bitch is chugging. Oh, oh my god, it's one chugging. Holy shit. Uh, I have a vivid memory wow. of a fucking choo choo train. Wow. Wow. Looks like another dream gone bad. You should do, or not you. Why would you do it? I was going to say, <laughs> there should be, like, dude, you're going to hear me say this and be like, why would I have done that? But there should be people that do, like, Mario Kart and stuff, but, like, theme it off of, like, movies. Like, imagine if that was a Mario Kart track. That would be that would be really the really cool. thing ever. Yeah, you should do that. Yeah, yeah you should do I'm that. I'm on it. Literally it on it right now. Yep. <laughs> Next one. Or even, like, Sky High was would beautiful, be Nick. sick. Thank you. I'm well, getting ready for it. I am here. <laughs> tired. If time machines existed, where are you going right now? Dude, these questions... They get crazy. I can't. Well, because it's just like, of course, I've been asked this before, yeah. and I don't know the fucking answer. Mm-hmm. I used to say like the 50s because I've always thought like it looks like this, but it's cute and it's aesthetic, and it's like, yeah. oh my god, like in the 50s. But now I'm like, no, I like literally, that was the dark time in yeah. history. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, I want to be in the future, but like, you really do. <laughs> yeah. What's good? What's it gonna be? I don't know. The I future like, would scare me. I don't want to go there. At I, all. I feel like <laughs> I would... <laughs> everything scares me. Yeah, I don't need to know about I the future. I think like being in like. See, the past scares me more than the future, like, if I was a time traveler. Because I feel like if you go back, you can alter something. Like, that's always, like, a Honestly, big thing. Honestly, I'd, I'd you know wait. I mean? I'd well, wait yeah, until... that's, like, we get into, like, time travel and, like... Butterfly yeah. effect. Yeah. Freaky. I'd literally Change wait anything, until I was in, in an argument with someone, and then be like, they're like, you're wrong, that didn't happen. I'd be like, fuck you, I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to go check. That'd be the first time I use it. I'd be able to prove <laughs> yeah. myself correct. Yeah, I don't know when it, like, when how it would does be. It be you know? Yeah. Like, if, if, like... I always say to Nick and Matt, like when we die and we get our God recap from heaven, you will know that I your that life was replay. like wrong. Yeah, like in your life replay, you will realize I was correct. And, and we yeah. use that. That's like the most stern that you believe in yourself. Like, yeah, you'll, you'll <laughs> you'll see, when we get our recap, life replay, you'll, you'll find you will out. See. Wow, that's crazy to pull the recap. Yeah. yeah. Do you ever feel like that? Like you're gonna be like, like if you're like, arguing you with someone, no, 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 I don't, I don't do that because I don't really have anyone that I can argue with like mm, that. Yeah. That you guys, but I do have things where I'll do something and I'll be like, I don't know how that's gonna look on the recap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's you know, true. I'm like, mm, that's I don't know how that's gonna read. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna not enjoy watching this back. Um. If you could be, oh, we asked you this the other day in another form, but it's if you could be any animal, what would you be? Oh, this is different. You I asked, asked me about aquatic an aquatic animal. Specific. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I I aquatic. And the answer be... was otter for everyone. No. Right? The other day, octopus, was it not? Was it not? It was originally octopus, and then I was like, otter. Okay. Like, keen but it, listening yeah, ears, Matt. Look at you. Keen. What a, what? Um, I think I would want to be. I'll, I'll say mine first. You go. Owl. Good I could have guessed that one. Come on, Matt. I'd be yeah. a deer. Really? Yeah. Just because it's my favorite animal, but actually now that I think about it, they have a l- like thin survival rate. I was going to say, I feel like they yeah. don't Worth have the best. Worth it. You <laughs> need to experience it. No, I'd rather, experience. honestly. Nick, what are you picking? I don't know, Hitting bro. A, 
hitting an animal period, but hitting a deer with my car is one of my biggest fears. Mm. Dude, scary. Actually, one of my biggest scary. fears. Scary. I've nailed a possum before. See, I I oh, wouldn't recover from that. That was so terrifying. I would, was no, so was just, I would not too recover. fast to like. I was going. We were, I was going like, to Well, no, it was a like, highway. It was legit yeah. a highway. Yeah. Like he had to go speed. Speed. It was yeah. and he was just walking. And I was like, sorry, goodbye. Yeah. That makes me want to cry. Yeah. I don't like that. I was just happy we were driving for a while after because I was like, I don't need to see what's going on outside this car <laughs> yeah. for quite some time. Like, I was like... I understand. Yeah. I honestly, now I think I about would it, be as, as... What's it called? I had it in my brain. What are they called? A like seahorse. Okay, I was going to say. Seahorse. That's a really good That's one. A really good one. It, That's it, also it was aquatic. there, and then I the saw it in my head and couldn't remember what it was called. <laughs> the seahorses are so cute. What? I said they're also, also aquatic. aquatic. They are also aquatic. So now you're at three aquatic <laughs> animals. Yeah. I am a Pisces. What can I say? I love seahorses. That's such a good answer. Seahorses are really cute. Do you, Do you know, know that the male? I was about to yes. say. Hey. So the wow. male ones yep. give birth. I don't know I what animal I'd be because I already feel very animal-like. Like, I, I feel in touch. What, what with... animal do you feel? An elephant we've already learned, but what else? Yeah, I feel like... Um... An elephant that specifically lives off of M&Ms. Baby yes. M&Ms. And then... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I <can't remember. laughs> Well, because that was just, like, perfect sounding. Like, I like, got close to that earlier. But <laughs> yeah. When you put them together, I was like, absolutely. <laughs> I feel like... Hmm. I would have a great time as just like a lion. Like I feel like the pride of the jungle. You could <laughs> so know. be a lion. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I could so see that for well, you. I, think pride of the jungle. Jungle. I don't know like, how he does it. I don't, I don't know. know. I like bats too. Like I'd love to. Oh my we god! Know. Like, I drive you to sleep upside yes. down. Yes, I love bats. Yeah, bats so are huge crazy. for me. Do you really love bats? They're super cute. Love bats. That's actually my team mascot for when we go on tour. Wow. For our versus tour thing, I'm gonna bring the bats. Deer. Congratulations. Cute. That makes no. sense. And I'm assuming you're an owl. No. No, I'm gatekeeping my favorite animal for our tour. Oh, the sharks. But if we tour again and we do the same concept, we can I'm pick gonna be like an owl. animals. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I don't mm-hmm. know why I did that, but I, mean, I like I like owl because I like nighttime and like they're always up at night. You know, um, we saw when you were at your house. Who you saw or what you saw? We saw, saw an owl while we were yeah. at your what? house. Yep. Yeah, you got out of the pool and went to shower. We were all looking at an owl without you. Yep, a yeah. big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was it. in the tree right up. Have you ever seen those? What are those owls called that like have the crazy faces? I don't know, but I want to. I feel um, like they all got crazy faces. The little baby ones. No, that, like, I want like, go to go. I want to go to one of the. Super I want to go to one of the places that like it's just like ten on their little perches. And you I think they're called in. barn owls. Need to yeah, go. Yeah, I think I think you're they right. They're crazy looking. I love they look, isn't it crazy owls. They can like twist their head. They look like, haunted. They literally like, have like faces like this, and they just look at you and they go like this, and yes. then they can just rotate their whole head. Dude, that's like, like crazy. Whoa. Like an owl could just like look behind. Them. I love owls. Yeah, full just three sixty. That yep. shit. How look, all the way. Really bad picture, but I took it just in case. That's an owl in your tree. Oh my god, it is. Yep. Oh, how do you spot him? He was hooing. We, up, we heard him, and I found him. Can you look up barn owl for me? Yeah, I got you. Because I'm curious if I'm right. These I think things you are. are. I'm pretty sure. Barn. They look like they're wearing a mask. It's like from the, they got Harry the yellow Potter. beak. It's they're like from free. Harry Potter. No, yes, he's yes. white. Yeah, that's what she's talking about. No, um, wait, look up a baby one, baby barn owl. Specific here, but doesn't that like its face looks very like vacant and like it's gonna just it kill? That's a, <gasps> Do you see it? Is it freaky looking? Oh, why don't you guys don't want to see? It? Oh my god, god I just, why don't you don't want to see it all? Oh mm. my yeah, god, yeah, they're fucking scary. Why don't you never want to see? Why don't you never want to see a Holy hairless shit. owl? Google that. You know what you never want to see as well is a, this is like just all shit I've seen like on TikTok. Um, either a, not, it's not a pug. I think it's a French bulldog or something's, one of the, those types of dogs' skulls look oh. crazy. They're like this and they have this, just like, they have like no. No like progression out. Like, it's, it's, just, like, oh. like, it's crazy looking. That's a real bird. Hairless, a hairless owl. owl. Oh, I feel bad for it. Nick, Poor wouldn't it guy. be featherless owl? Whatever the fuck, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it's a good combination of both. They got feathers and hair. I think they do. I would assume so. <laughs> um, what's your go-to way to sweeten a drink? Honey, sugar, caramel, artificial sugar, sugar, <laughs> sugar sweetener, artificial, artificial sugar. Sweet. <laughs> um, I, um, you know, I'm a fan of sugar in the raw. Have uh, you had that? The big brown. That's what Starbucks has. has. That's um, yes. exclusively. I think I'm into that. I love, and I kind of like chewing on it. Yeah. Like if I pour it into like iced tea, I'll like leave it at the bottom and purposely suck tea. it up like it's boba and just mm. chew on that the sugar. I thought you were gonna say honey for sure because you put honey on pasta the other day. Just don't expose me right now. 
<laughs> so I, so I, was I like, did put honey on pasta and I put honey on <laughs> most things. That's yeah. So I was like, maybe she's going with honey for sure here. I, you know? I like honey, but it's not strong enough sugar wise to sweeten drink. Firmly agree. Tea? Yes. Mm. But like an iced tea, yeah, maybe a lemonade. I love iced tea. Sugar. Iced tea is a top but tier. Oh, sweet tea from I would Canes. love to like. I would love to just like the sit bread. in here as like no. a little fly while Nick was just talking. Like I wish like I didn't. Kid, have to you're here in the sometimes. flash. You're just like <laughs> you no, are. Like, I wish I didn't have to participate and I could just watch him make these jokes. Yeah, and you just are laugh. very quick. You're, I don't know, guys. So thank, thank you. It's so <laughs> impressive. You've reached the hearts of so many. Oh, thank Yay. you. It's crazy. Thank you. What would you say to someone that you don't know to scare them as fast as you possibly can? Like run away or like something crazy. Like you go up to someone you want to scare them. What are oh you saying? Oh my god. Um Wake up is crazy. That'd be mine. Oh. Yeah. Whoa. If I just, just saw you walk out of the street the and I said wake up. I, mean, kept I don't want to say mine because I don't want to like steal your possible answer. No, you say it first. I don't just like just like look real crazy and disorient and be like, what year is it? Like really, like no, I would, like, oh, yeah. I would be like, what? I would be intrigued. I would love it. I don't know. I would be like, sit down and talk to me for a while. <laughs> like, what year is it? And you just have no idea. No, asking if it is like a different year. Like, is it 2050? <laughs> oh my god, that would be worse. I would, I would say some weird cryptic shit. Knowing me, uh, uh, you just mumble. Like, we're barking, just aggressively growl or like barking at somebody. What would you say? What would I do? I would run around to every single guy, and I would just say. John until it's like actually a John. You would be successful quick. Yeah, you would. I know. That's why. That's why I picked that name. And then you'd be like, "Yeah," I'd be like, "They're on to you." And then I'd walk away. Whoa. That's Whoa. Insane. fully addressing the my name. Spine. You could say anything and address my name, and I'd probably be scared. Like you could say, "Like we're out of napkins." After you address <laughs> yeah. me, I'd be like, "Holy shit!" We need I don't to know get what napkins. I would say. That's such a good fucking question. I'm so mad at myself that I don't know what I would say right now. I would definitely say something just like straight out of a horror movie. Just haunting. Just scare the shit out of somebody. Yeah. I feel like it's all about action too. Like if you're committed, you could say anything and you'd terrify someone. You really I know. agree. Doesn't take a lot to be scary nowadays. No. Like I would say something just like, like. I see the gears. Tomorrow. I don't know. I would just say something that's so fucking random and weird. And that's, I've heard people say the wake up thing yeah, before. That's that scary. That is so scary. Would you be the queen of ice or the queen of fire? Oh my God. I really resonate. I would say maybe ice because uh, I. Like, like ice you have is just a cooler. big ice throne. It's way cooler. The like fire a big would just ice be like kingdom. more difficult to yeah. maneuver. Yeah, I agree. I and know. ice, you could have guests more yeah. frequently. Yeah. You know what I mean? I also have always just like liked ice queens in movies yes. more than I have like the fire. Like Bowser. Except for Adventure Time. The fire girl is so cute and I forget her name. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? So growing up I was hardcore vanilla. Transitioned to chocolate Ew. later in my in my adult years. Um and now I'm a swirl girl all day. Okay. Just oh love yeah, that. The best. Yeah. Love that answer. Her. Swirly Sprinkles? soft serve. Chocolate sprinkles. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're gonna say get it. we're gonna walk you to the window. We're gonna go three of those. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's gonna go. Run that shit up. Do you we're, guys are you cone people? Yes. Big Thank time. You. How long ago do you How feel like you, uh, you can't get that in a cup? Dude, it's people like, who are yeah. like they're like it's cone or cup natural. and they're like cup. I'm like, I'm confused. I love a good cone and why, cup. Why do you not want to be eating yes, a cone? I agree. A cone with an emergency cup. I always if I'm getting a cone, it you're getting put upside down in a cup all the time. How vividly do you remember McDonald's taking away the nuts that go with their Sundays? I'm not. I don't like putting nuts on on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. Is it over? Matt, pull the next question. Yeah, wrap it up. <laughs> um, but I do love McFlurries. Yeah, all, yeah same. all day. But not, I don't love nuts. I'm I don't not like a, that they I'm don't a stir a the McFlurry. But that's a whole other discussion for later. They don't. What do you mean? <laughs> Some don't. They, so tell don't. me how many. What do you get? Oreo or M M&M? and M? Oreo. Tell me how many Oreos are at the bottom. Zero. Zilch, and it's a bummer. Correct. <laughs> right? They got to get But I didn't know that it's Yeah, yeah. Zilch. They, remember it's they bummer. used to have the machine that they'd hook the straw yeah, to the and metal. It'd shake and That's... it'd be Oreo everywhere. Of course. Yeah. I want that. It's not a McFlurry. Put that fucking effort in. It, it's no longer a McFlurry. It's ice cream and they put. Yeah. Yeah, you're it's right. It's a make ice cream with Oreos on, my, on top. On my McFlurry. Did you oh, get that on it? Special order? Wow. Wow. Secret menu. Yeah. You have it's a McDonald's really meal now. In the future, we know what the McFlurry would be. Yeah. yeah. Be a oh wait, Oreo except McFlurry. You inspired a question. What would be like the Madison beer meal at McDonald's? Um, 
I'm recently pescatarian, but prior to that, I would say a sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle. With a McFlurry, though? No. These are separate. You got to hold it. Sorry, these sorry. are separate. Okay. For dessert. Everything? No, a McGriddle? No, is a for dessert. Thing. It's for, like, we'll for dessert, hold that we can, later. We can, we'll yeah. hold the hot fudge Oreo. Give us a second. I'm getting fries no matter the time of day. Mm. And I would love hash browns. The way I just pushed that was like an animal. <laughs> um, I would love hash browns at any time of the day as well. Very good. So maybe that's my order. That's breakfast, though. If I had to do like a dinner one, I'm going for McNuggets, I think. Yeah, yeah. have to. Do you believe in Bigfoot? That's not really one of the... Is it a conspiracy theory? Yeah. I guess it's classified kinda, as... Kind of, sure. It's not one of the myths I believe in. Ooh. Okay. I believe more in, like, mermaids okay. yeah. and that, aliens. That might be a separate question in there, but I don't know. We could just skip it. <laughs> yeah, then... I don't, yeah. Bigfoot, I feel, is... Do you guys believe in Bigfoot? Yes. I feel like we'd got it. We'd catch the motherfucker already. <laughs> There's no <laughs> we'd way have he's here and we don't have him. Do you believe in mermaids? Like, with a big there net, like, yeah, is it a cartoon? Like, no way we don't have him. <laughs> right? Like, wow. Wow. Last one. Like we would oh, like no. tank like trank darted him or something. No, like or seen a Bigfoot <laughs> impression. Yeah. I feel like I'm not seeing enough. People of this. have claimed the they've seen a Bigfoot. What if foot? they're humongous though? Right, like, literally. What like, come on. such a big like giant that we are, or something. It's too like, big that we can even yeah. see it. Like, like you think it's Bigfoot's like a big here, tree. Here, people or just something. stand there in shock and they're like, ah, I'd go with the iPad. Literally, <laughs> with the iPad video immediately. Like yeah. how how is as some people claim to see Bigfoot, but you don't claim to see your goddamn phone and record the motherfucker. They claim they have bullshit videos that i think yeah. are bullshit but come on who knows now. what's real like you, i believe in thanos more than i do fucking bigfoot because i've seen him on my tv you know i'm with you right i'm with you nick you're nuts what's your favorite chip um i like a oh, there's a few can i give like a top five absolutely, absolutely. top five whatever there's no i don't limit. know this isn't an order but i just I'm a, i like i s- snack on chips um doritos Cool Ranch, love. Absolutely. So good. Oh, I thought you were saying no. No, and I no, was like, absolutely. you're a nacho cheese person. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Whoa. Cool um, Ranch is the best one. Don't know the reaction I'm going to get with this one. I love a Funyun. Love them. Love them. Great. Right here. Wow. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, I was a little yeah. nervous about that one. <laughs> no, you're good. And I love Fritos. I'm a salty person. Love Fritos. Love Fritos. Can't get enough. Yeah. So good. Yeah. What about the barbecue twist Fritos? Oh, um, my God. Yeah, we're there. Here we go. Oh, my God. I'm a big fan of those. Fuck no. <laughs> no fucking blue Takis. Oh, my God. That answers the other question. Oh my god! Nick, there we go. Kicking out. Nick. Two with one stone. I love awesome. that. Yes. Did I give you? How many did I give you? Before? Just now four. Uh, yep. I want to give one more tip. Hmm. When Nick asked me this the other day, when oh, we were like, I'm gonna say okay. Chester fries. So, final chip. Final chip is a Chester fry. Chester fries. Word. And Chester fries are Chester, good. I've never it's had Chester fries, so I need you to. You've never had one? Never. No, we're make, so when we like, are done with this, we're going on a portals drive, we're going to an escape room, we're going to a fast food place, and we're going to 7-Eleven, and we're getting some In the escape fries. room. Absolutely. Yeah, she yeah, said, I that. said that. Oh, okay. So yeah. that's Come top on of the list. And then archery the... tomorrow. And yes. archery yes. tomorrow. We used to do a week ahead of us. chip question, I thought he meant like French fries. I don't know why, but Yeah, I'm head. like, are you British? <laughs> I go, what's your like, go-to chip? He's like- French fries. I'm like, hold on. <laughs> Where are you from? Yeah, I'm like, well, this is crazy. I was like, oh, He's God. never referred to French fries as chips. I'm like, gotta say, it. waffle are better than the waffle fries day. are good. Are we waffle or pancake people? Waffle, waffle, waffle all day. Cool. All day. Waffle. Cool. Both. I filled them up. I am I've, also both. I fill up waffles with syrup and then I eat it like a sandwich. Do you like, like whipped cream on your waffle? I'm, I'd get down with it. Cool. Yep. As as you should. There we go. <laughs> I have a final question. Go ahead. Did you have fun today? I had so much fun today. <laughs> yes. Thank you for having yes. me. Right. Best podcast literally ever. Thank you. I always like, I don't know. You're like one of like three guests and you're, I don't know. I'd say you and actually, no, that's a lie. I'd say you, all three of the guests we've had are we've equally known like for like a short amount of time right before a guest. I feel like it's a very like, I don't know. I feel like I'm like an overwhelming experience, but if you have fun. It's I'm amazing. Taking I'm it. with it. And Thank I loved you. it. And amazing. Thanks for having me. Thank you just, so much for being here. Yeah, I'm so happy that you did this did this with us. And it's also like crazy because I sense I sense great vibes from you. I have to say this. I said That's to Matt and Chris so sweet. when we left your house the other day, I was just like, something there's something so human about you and you're like laughing and kind and it's just like I'm gonna cry. I was uh, genuinely like telling Matt and Chris, what did I say on the ride home? I can't I forget repeat what you said. It's, and sorry. Literally cause... tell me this because like always whenever I leave when I hang out with people, I assume that they were like, She's so annoying and weird. No, I, I, I hate <laughs> Nick I, has the I always tell I, no, no, I, I actually have like to tell like... Nick, like, all right, I want to listen to music now. So let's calm down. I always apologize to people when I'm gonna say something overwhelmingly kind because I wouldn't know how to react. <laughs> 
<laughs> so this is like my no, initial, I am like, appreciative of this because I'm like a self hater. Yeah, person. but no, but it was something when you were like you're playing with your dog, you were laughing. It was just like a very like human moment, and I feel like it's just something we don't see enough. And I'm very thankful. I was just like I was talking That's about so it the cool entire car at home. I was like, she's very just like a human being. Is the best way to put it. That's yep. awesome. So. I appreciate that. And I know a lot. time is extremely valuable, and I'm thankful that you took some to spend time with us. Yay. Today. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Thank you very much. And once again, for oh all of you listening and viewing this. Um, Madison's album, Silence Between Songs, comes out September 15th. And if you have, or it's already out or it's about to come out, so make sure you're streaming that right now. And do you have any final words? Thanks for having me. Yeah. Love you. Peace love and love. You. Yeah. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. <laughs>